itself filming a king, a legend, a god. Well, I'm rolling uh, paper. Well, I'm and I'm rolling um, also paper. Oh, come on, hey, thing. we're rolling in paper now. Welcome back to the yard. We got a sponsor. Woo! Woo! It's actually not paper. That's the funny part because it's digital. The yeah. beauty of of cryptocurrency. Yeah, uh, we, this episode of the yard, episode three, is brought to you by Coinbase. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know, our job here at this podcast was to just make one million dollars each. That's yeah. literally what we're doing this for a day. A day, yeah, and once that happens, we're done. So, well, once that happens, we make uh, yard coin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to sell yard coin. Yeah. Use yard coin at Home Depot for five percent off gardening tools. It feels weird sometimes because, like, Mango has a coin. Does he still have that? Yeah, he's a, he just got it. He just got really? his he just Mango just got coin. Main yeah. coin. Yeah, I heard Man Hugo coin. made like ten rack off of his coin. He made juicy money. No, that's what happened. So, like, hugs is you know like two hundred viewer Andy. Yeah. And Mango's the biggest Smash streamer. He hears hugs, gets 10k a month. He's like, I want that. Yeah, Mango his average that. is like 97 viewers yeah. a stream. So if, if, <laughs> if Mango does the same thing, you know, transitive property is gonna make at least you know 50k maybe. Yeah, Mango's a month. kind of on his shit. He's at the, he's at the Patreon now. Yeah, I was. Yeah, he's he's going for his bread. Without <laughs> Tafo, he had no clue. Yeah, he like just figured it out. It's funny because he's always like, "My goal is to be a millionaire," and I'm always like, "You should have done this." So like, you you had such a head start, so I, much money. I I replied to him once. I was like, "Get your shit in like a 401k or like an index fund," and then Stans backed me up. And then I remember Mango this. just said, "Shut up with that white guy shit." Yeah, it was, it was like I don't understand this white people shit. Yeah, and I love like, the, I love the idea of seeing Mango's like Mint app, and it's like you have an unusual amount of spending on Michelob Ultra this month. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. He's just like mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like I think I spent what I did last month. He'll be like, "I want to be a millionaire," and then in the same vein, gamble away ten thousand online and yeah. lose two thousand to me in Birio cart. But he, he's kind of like Anthony. He just wants to feel something, and sometimes yeah. money can provide that. You can win though when you gamble. Yeah, that's yeah, true. You can. I was watching Trainwrecks today. Trainwreck TV. Dude, it was crazy. Is he He's, back at it? Dude, he, it, it he says, never stopped. You know why I clicked? Why? You know why I clicked on his fucking, I don't even follow him. It was in my suggested. And I clicked because the stream title said 2.5M down. Oh my <laughs> God. And I'm like, well, I got to watch this guy. <laughs> That's like the title of like a RuneScape streamer who lost it in GP. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. That was, cr- that's crazy. It's funny because uh, I think he's so concerned about the criticisms that he's always like i just so you know like i gamble offline too like i love this and i feel like he gambles more now so that it like comes off better well, that's so but funny to be like more. hey guys hey everyone roasting me i do this offline this like sad horrible thing <laughs> <laughs> i do it alone when yeah. no one's watching so yeah. jokes on you it makes it better i suppose <laughs> i've been okay. tuning in more consistently because i'm super jealous of that new apartment like that's that's like Dude, my dream it is so beautiful imagine it's a green screen i haven't seen it what is it you got a new it, he has like a vancouver penthouse that overlooks the the water the wow. enti- you see yeah. like the entire like river i don't know what the hell it is it's it's a and the city behind it's it it's not a river it's Man. the most beautiful apartment view i've ever seen his I, poor sweet canadian roommate or, or housemates who live in the apartment next to him yeah who ought to hear him just like book 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 fuck yeah shit yeah <laughs> wild come on wild come on come on <laughs> at like 3 a.m yeah. yeah. when he door dashes he's like he asked the guy, he's like, hey, all right, I'm going to flip this coin. I'm going to flip it three times. If it lands on seven each time, I get half off, all right? You down with that? <laughs> if I lose, I pay you triple. Are you good with that? <laughs> and the guy's like, and he's like, wild, wild. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You just fuck me. Yeah. I'm going to DoorDash. Here you go. On the topic of Mango, congratulations to C9's very own yeah. for winning Smash Summit. Right, dude. Arguably man. one of the best melee sets of all time. Yeah. We were going off in the venue. Holy shit. Smash got a got a little baby bump there. I mean, it got 115k viewers, which I think is is close to the most. Yeah, this is like the highest it's been since the the Genesis after Ultimate came out. So I guess like 20 which was 2019 January 2019 by the way. Really crazy. Yeah. Really this high. still did really well. Um yeah, I think this it's is the amazing. most for any summit. Also, you said baby bump, which is a term used when someone is pregnant. Yeah. So you're saying someone yeah. impregnated melee. No, I mean true. a bump that's a smaller bump, it's a like weird it's a baby. Yeah, it was mango. To say it. Mango impregnated. Yeah. I'm saying it's a baby bump, like a little bump. It's a baby sized bump. Okay, but it's just baby a, it's bump, just a bump is like in viewership. You commonly just say that. called like okay, being well, pregnant. Slime always calls me out. Today, I was pointing because I have a painting of myself in the house, <laughs> and I went, it's my portmanteau. 
And he was like, that doesn't mean that. It literally doesn't. And he grilled It's a combination for, of two words. Apparently, it's a combination of two words. But you kind of got what I meant, though. No, I didn't. To be clear, I don't know what you mean. I have a communications degree and an English degree, and they're separate. Yeah, you can hardly do either. Okay, <laughs> hey, here, I'll, I'll you help you. You also have a painting of yourself in your home, and we're breezing over that. Isn't it kind of cool, though? <laughs> the we should only, get a painting of all of the us. Only, <laughs> the only pass on this is that you didn't get it for yourself. Well. And that's the only way. <laughs> Just told Cutie a couple times. Kind of <laughs> acceptable. You did leave I it up. Says the man who, who holds art contests he, for himself. He reminds me of like a of like the old wealthy guy who owns the big house in like a Scooby-Doo episode. And then once you die, Me. you'll set up like a murder mystery to find your fortune. I will one day invite all of our friends and one of them will die. Yeah. And you I was have to find say, out who. Like, is he the guy that like kills a guy? Eamon dies no. for sure. No, there's oh, yeah. that, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, that yeah. episode of like old Scooby-Doo like where, where this like rich colonel has died and he brings all of his relatives and for whatever reason, Scooby-Doo to his home <laughs> in the afterlife. Yeah. Yeah, and no, the butler tight. the butler plays a tape that he recorded before he dies. And he's like, I'm glad I've gathered you all here. Now you have to go on this hunt for my fortune in my home. And, and then uh, the Beatles plays and they all run around <laughs> playing grab ass. Yeah, they, dude, I, they played knockoff Beatles music in yeah. like all those old episodes I, I of Scooby-Doo. I watched a shitload of old <laughs> cartoons growing up because Cartoon Network would just air them. And I was mm -hmm. in like this... I've, I've probably seen like every Bugs Bunny, every Tom and Jerry, every Scooby Doo, and it kind of formed me being a fucking weirdo. I think because I would just expect Beatles music to play when people ran. <laughs> I have yeah. uh, I have fucked up rich person thoughts now. You know what I thought this morning? Like like purge thoughts? I was or... <laughs> yeah like like yeah like uh, no what's... like I want to kill no. Amon. I want to do it. <laughs> Not like that fucked up, but I was watching Train and he was doing a gambling thing. This is the most fucked up random thought I had. I'm almost embarrassed to share it. He was gambling and he was in a bonus and uh, and he was winning like 5k but the bonus was really slow and I'm like what if the person who owns this site just injected a billion and then he would have to just stay here for fucking ever. Just look like how much is it worth it the money he's winning if it takes up this much time to just watch the cutscene of him winning it? Right. If and he just and he keeps winning and you have to stay otherwise you don't get to collect the money? Yes. And you just watch it for like a year of your life. Yeah. So what you're saying is like, would you sit and stare at a screen for a billion dollars? Yeah. That's and you, and you were well, considering a billion, a billion. I'm just exaggerating. Like, uh, what's your number to stare at a blank wall? This isn't a rich guy thought. What, is it not? I was imagine. Well, I was imagining in this scenario, it was an evil rich guy who's Dude, injecting I it to at, make him stay. There. I stare oh, okay. at a blank. I stare at a blank wall like for free all day. To be clear, you <laughs> yeah. want to be the evil rich yeah, guy that was, makes him my do mind, this in this scenario. So you were like, okay, I oh, have so the you means. already have the money in this situation, and you just want to terrorize other people by forcing them to do embarrassing, yeah. just to stare at self-destructive things. Well, the thought, the thought came in conjunction with with Jeff Bezos. Who made news today because he's gonna he's gonna fly into space? Yeah, um, is he's gonna try to soon? find it's how to get tomorrow. hair again. When it's this is out, out it will already have happened. What's uh, what's the challenger odds on this? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, low because he's got bread. If we you all, think those if, astronauts had bread, if we all ask Alexa the same time to like say the to do a complicated math problem, <laughs> his fucking <laughs> his rocket explodes. <laughs> Yeah, my Alexa is all fucked up. It's like, ass. hey, Alexa, divide by zero, and, and also everyone on the Earth jumps at the same time. <laughs> like a like a bloody Mary. Oh shit! There Those are them. Those yeah. are them. Zipper. So, wait, it's a bunch of other old people. So that's Jeff Bezos on on and the it's middle. Amen on the left. On the I right. Thought Zipper. Dude. I actually thought Zipper just flashed us the Challenger crew, and I was like, come this on. This actually man. just looks like <laughs> this like, actually just looks on. like if Jeff Bezos like got in a time machine with four people and his family. And they all like got mixed together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, everyone in this picture looks like they could be him. Yeah, they like swap the eyes. <laughs> they did the Mario Party minigame wrong. <laughs> They're just altern uh, it's, uh, alternative. Oh, wait, universe. the right person says Bezos. Yeah, Bezos. yeah, it's Jeff, his brother on the right, and then that's an 82 year old woman who's a, a big aviator. And that's Aiden on the left. Who's always wanting to go to space. It, it looks <laughs> just What's like you. What's fucked up is the guy on the left, I think that's him. There's an 18 year old on this flight, or maybe like some college grad whose dad basically bought him the seat. I heard about that. Because there was a random wow. person. Really? There was anonymous bidding. There was an auction. It sold for $28 million for a spot, and the guy backed out for scheduling conflicts. Okay. Which is crazy to back out no, on no, a $28 million No, no, you would literally flight. do that. 
For 28 mil? I'm just saying, you get to a certain point. If sure. it was 28K, I'd do it you'd be a, like, ah, oh, shit, so I gotta go to I got, I got an today. offline TV shoot today. Yeah. I can't go to I do it at actual airplane machine. flights, but those are like 280, not two. Uh, but what I'm saying mil. is like, you're so shit at scheduling and remembering which days exist. Dude, I'm so bad. I'm coming to your defense. I'm coming to your defense. Swoop in, This swoop is in. because he knows about the sunk cost fallacy. The money has already been spent. And he knows that exactly. he may potentially so have a so better wise. time with a with a different outing. Continue with that thought because that's mm -hmm. genius. No, no, no. That has nothing to do with well, him. He just was on like, my side, though, and I just appreciate that. That has nothing to do with that him is, just being like literally a child with a lunch pail who you have to tell like, okay, kiddo, today you're going to be doing a, a sponsored stream. All okay, right? wait. Explain exactly what you're talking about because I don't understand. I don't know what you're mad at me for right now. I am just saying what that, did, what did I do that spawned so, this? So the the funny part about this that guy having scheduling conflicts and yet paying like having a twenty eight million dollar. Well, to be clear, I think the scheduling conflicts is cap. I think he's just a pussy and doesn't want to go to space. Okay, there's no way he's like <laughs> I have a golf game that's more important than going to fucking space and being like the seventh person to yeah. do it. That's not an that's, astronaut. That's horseshit. Yeah, he's I don't lying. know. There's maybe, no universe. Maybe he's really wanted to play with Phil Mickelson his entire life. Yeah. And Phil can only make Phil it work could one wait. day. Phil could wait a day. There's no <laughs> excuse oh, for anything on earth that would stop you from going I like the idea of Phil being like, he's like, oh, sorry, Phil, I gotta go to space. And he's like, you're bailing on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're bro. bailing on me. The it's peak. like, dude, you always flake. <laughs> I drove from Arizona for this. I peaked <laughs> I was number two on the PGA rank. <laughs> I feel like, you know what? I'll let you know when I'm free. Have you seen okay. my career? I've been to the moon and back. It's not that exciting. <laughs> Here's why I'm mauled. Be because my golf ball and you go because to the moon. Uh, we go after we finish streaming um, the Smash Summit finals, me and Ludwig go to the venue, and he'll like. I, I just was like sitting around, you were like talking to Toaf, and, I, and I'm like kind of in your earshot. And then you're like, I always respond. Slime, don't I always respond? And you're carting me around, <laughs> baiting me. Because you literally don't respond. That's crazy. You you make it hard to do things. And it's okay. Like at the end of the day, we fi we figure it out, but it's just frustrating. But you'll you'll pull me in and be like, Hey, this is my buddy. Don't I always respond, Toph? Like like it's a joke. And I'm so mad because you'll actually defend yourself like you aren't a pain in the ass. I'm a great replier. Dude, I, shut the fuck you up. You know what was a big hit? Was when Tove told me he was like, even Ludwig responds more than you do, and I was like, oh. wow, that's huge. Yeah, I looked at Eamon's up. Discord DMs. Isn't They're it gross. Sickening? It's gross. Dude, you're it's disgusting. A, you're a disgusting man. You're gross. I, I don't need to explain myself. The two things that I think are, are the cringiest traits in two of my friends: Eamon, who leaves th thirty Discord messages unread, mm -hmm. and then Atrioc uses light mode for Twitter. I asked oh, them about that, and it's like on purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah they no, want to use light mode. They don't do it by accident. Mike also uses light mode. Yeah, the thing is they don't do it by accident, but they don't have a great reason when you ask them. They're like, oh, um. <laughs> and now they feel like they have a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. And so all these fucking light mode users are just like, wow, I guess like I'm doing it wrong, I guess. I'm just living my life I'm wrong. I'm different. I don't know. And it's I'm like, just yeah, different. You fucking are. It's gross. You're gross. They're like me when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I, when smartphones came out, I was anti-smartphone for like three years. Everyone had a smartphone. They're on Twitter and what shit. What do you have? Blackberry or like a... I had a chocolate LG. Oh, you were a chocolate user. And I didn't have anything that could Damn. connect to the web and get apps. I didn't get a Samsung or an iPhone until like the iPhone like 6, I think was my first one. Everyone knew a bad bitch named Danielle with a chocolate. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and she had lean like a cholo as her ringtone. And, and ours was, and Ludwig was I was that. the bad bitch. <laughs> you were the Danielle. <laughs> my fat ass walking around with that chocolate. <laughs> You're like in class and all of a sudden you hear, oh, I chime in. It's like, oh, I got a call. Like, <laughs> Want to know my ringtone? My ringtone was the Avatar theme. <laughs> you are such a <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> like, like, like Avatar, not like the Last Airbender. No, the Airbender, like, the Airbender. The oh, Airbender. the Airbender. I yeah. think an Avatar, like, like movie. the movie no. soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, just... I mean, like long ago, four nations lived together in peace. It and rings. Harmony. It's like you, you know, it took them like two weeks to render this, right? Just you know, <laughs> <laughs> left the computer on. Do you think James Cameron would be psyched about that, or do you think you'd cheapened his work? No, I think did I think that. he'd be oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, he's a psychopath. He would love that. Of course, he's a fan. Love a fan. Like that's yeah. what happens when you become that person. You have to like accept all your fans, or else you become bitter. Like uh, I don't know, like Mike Ross or something. You know I wouldn't I mean? be mad if someone had the Ludwig Reddit recap as their the ringtone. I I would I would secretly laugh at you. <laughs> but I, I think I, it I was is a banger. Though. In the moment, I'd be like, <laughs> I, all right. No, actually, ironically, I think that's super funny. I'm on board. If it's ironic. Yeah, but also if it's genuine, it's still funny, but in a different way. Even if way. it's ironic, it becomes genuine. That's how it always if works. You were, if you guys were on a date, 
and the girl like you were with or guy or whatever had a uh, ring a specific ringtone. Is there any song that could play that would make you want to leave the date? I yeah, think, I mean, well, leave, yeah. leaving a date is leave, insane, leave right? Is maybe bad. not, maybe not like get up and leave because it's kind of overboard. But like, you don't go on a second well, one. Friends, will, purely friends off the ring theme thing. song is a red flag. <laughs> that is a red flag. I mean, what if she's like fucking got two sleeves and like nine piercings? It's and obviously, the, and it's the and friends one theme sleeve song? is That's honestly, the one sleeve is Ross, the other sleeve is Matthew Perry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Ross, but he's like clown Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're on a date and she's just like, yeah, I love rock climbing and like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm in school to study, and all of a sudden the Breaking Bad theme just starts playing out of the pocket. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh, I suck. have to take this. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, if it's anything entertainment wise, you know, if you ever date them, that's all you'll ever watch. The fucking oh, Avengers. Because yeah. I dated a Friends girl, and we only watched Friends. <laughs> there was and, also the Family Guy girl. And Joey's just like, Dude, hey, come yeah. on. And she just Wait, like, who's, fucking who's, who's got the Family Guy story? You do. Is it me? Yeah, that's you. That's you. you. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about what? this. I forgot that this what? happened. Yeah, you went on a Tinder date with Family Guy girl. It was a Bumble oh, date. Oh, yeah. He needed coaching to even talk to her, which was funny. It makes me like, so mad when you explain this to I me, know. by the way. I, so, oh, all right, I let, me, let me explain I forgot happened. my own story. This is years ago. Uh, Ludwig had just like started streaming, whatever. He works a normal job. And he's getting on dating apps to like you know date people. And uh, his game is just My fucking so terrible. Bad, bro. Like, it was crazy. I have zero game. Like, he's a really handsome guy, and women are, like, messaging him Huge first. Like, cock. hot women are yeah. messaging him first. Wow. Average cock, uncut. And he's, like, <laughs> and they're, like, saying, like, dropping smiley face. Like, very interested in, in making the first move. Uh -huh. And he still just fumbles. He'll be, like, ha, ha, yeah. And then he'll, like, <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, like come and ask me, like, what do I say? What do Dude. I say? What should I say here? And I'm, like, It's, like, oh. dude, she asked what your name was. Just fucking tell her. <laughs> I am the thing is in person crazy. and the, in person I would fly I'd be zooming yeah. but if I have to message I become a different human Dude you are it's like you were fucking stunned it was crazy and so so what happened was that he you would go on a couple dates uh, with this one girl and he I would be like oh how that date go and he came back and he was like dude she's like She's like really into Family Guy. Yeah. She's really cool. We have Dude, a lot yeah. in common, but she she kept going, "Hey, Peter." <laughs> but we went to uh, we went to like it. a lunch spot together, and and she was like had her phone out, and and I think she was somewhat impressed that I had like a bit of a following. I had like 10k on on Twitter or something. You didn't have 10k at this point because uh, we had a race to 10k. And you were I had yet. some though. I had some following. I remember, though. I had some following that was more than an average person. And uh, and after pulling that up, she like pulled up basically Family Guy funny moments because she would like think of a reference to the show. And then I'd be like, yeah, no, I don't. Wait, hold on. Hold on. She saw your follower count and then pulled it up. No, like she had the phone out. Oh, I see. And then she like for because of that. Oh, this is like the Family up. Guy episode where Peter <laughs> yeah. meets a guy who has 5000 followers. And then I would be like, oh, dick. I don't know that one. Uh, and rather than just like letting that slide, she'd be like, OK, I got you. I like the idea of dating this girl for like a while. And like every time she does anything, she's like, oh, let's look this up on Google. She's like, oh. And she like was just looking at a family guy clip, <laughs> yeah. but like every time she does like, something, you, you guys have a huge fight, and she's like tears streaming down her face. Like you never listen to me. It's, look, it's like this episode. Okay, it's like it's, it's like, like that one time, and like she she yeah. imagines the flashback. She does it. That'd be a great TikTok. Is like you're looking at a picture on someone's phone, they're trying to show you, and then you swipe through, and it's like 800 pictures of <laughs> like, like Peter, Peter Griffin. Griffin. Yeah, it's every frame of the first episode. Yeah. Hold on, let me delete. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, okay, wait. I want to go back to something. So there was this. We were talking about James Cameron and like it, it like there's a part also back in that same era of Ludwig he had this phase where he would read the autobiographies of like billionaires oh yeah so he read Steve Jobs read autobiography. A bunch. he read Elon Walter Musk. Isaacson that's great so it was 20% like, of your like like things you would say would start with yeah so when I was reading the autobiography of an Elon Musk when I was reading Walter Isaacson's <laughs> book about Steve Jobs you know what's crazy is like even me not having lived with you yet heard about this phase like through the grapevine yeah. at the time because I cooked him for it because I thought it was so weird and that's when I started calling you a psychopath and you get really defensive mm. like I'm not a psychopath just well reading. he'd be like you're a psychopath because you don't listen to music and, and you read autobiographies of rich people I think it's not autobiographies obviously first of all they're biographies they're biographies second of all Steve Jobs is great Walter Isaacson's like just a great writer yeah he ate vegetables because he thought it would cure his Fruit. disease he was fruitarian ah and he My skipped out on chemo, and it My almost bad. worked. And it almost worked if it wasn't for the damn for those, vegetable that's for those meddling in. kids. Dude. <laughs> he just a stock of celery and uh, <laughs> yeah. I read I, Steve Jobs, uh, Elon Musk. I someone recently did Netflix founders. They're they're interesting. Mogul moves would not have existed if I hadn't. I know Red that's does. it comes from this like really weird phase where you were just really obsessed with rich people, and um, I thought it was weird. 
and I just made fun of you for it. It's less rich people, right? It's not like I am the son of an oil baron. Here's my life. It's more like Steve Jobs. Uh, what the fuck? That's Steve what I Steve want. Jobs. I want like the Saudi royal prince biography, and it's, <laughs> and it's just like a chapter. So and he's just like, like Monday, we yeah. figure out how to spend our money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, I yeah so it's just always been this way. And uh, <laughs> sometimes I send out a few emails, and no one believes who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Email is hard. <laughs> I try to give it away. That's yeah, he's nice. like, I bought nine nine cars today, all at a hundred grand each, and then I killed the guy. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was busy. It was. <laughs> Dude, now, on, uh, on Rich People and on Smash Summit, something that I, I've been trying to get used to in the past like year or so is whenever Ludwig enters rooms, it's like this aura that comes, like not for me, but for like all the people that like used to be chill around him, they all like gravitate towards him oh, in yeah. this weird way. Me and Anthony have talked about this. It's like like you like you came over to Smash Summit in the after party and I just yeah. noticed like everyone is like just walking towards you now and standing a little closer to like wherever you are. He's like Jesus. You're kind of like Jesus. Yeah, I change minus the sacrifice people's Gamer, attention yeah. into money for me. <laughs> yeah, much yeah. like he changed it is, water. It's to wine. really weird. Like I get like maybe people who wanted to meet you and, and like this like this like their only chance or whatever. But people who even have met you, I feel like just well, kind of gravitate. I think it's there. just been so long because of COVID as well. And so I had this conversation conversation like 15 times yesterday. I was like, Hey man, it's been a while, but congrats on all the success. Oh and yeah, that's that. I heard that like so many. The times. The first time I noticed this was during that speedrun event that we did for BTS, when like all these like fucking legendary speedrunners were oh, just yeah. like stoked to meet you, and I was like, dude, ZFG thinks you're sick. Yeah, that's crazy. And I'm that like, crazy. that's crazy. That was the start of it. ZFG is sick. There, dude. There's also this idea that like, like Ludwig. <sighs> I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Jacked. Uh, well, I have one more thing about Smash Summit that was funny. Uh, I'm not going to name names because this is a pretty funny story, but someone at Smash Summit came up to me and was talking about what they were going to do later. And they were like, they were like, yeah, we're going to watch a uh, Samurai Cop. And I was like, cool. I haven't heard of that movie. Like, what is that about? And he's like, yeah, uh, you should definitely watch it. Almost encouraging me to watch it with them but with like without the invitation and was just like, you definitely should watch this movie. Uh, it's got it's got it all. It's like from the 80s. Uh, it's got like a ton of racism and boobs. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, dude, my two favorite things. <laughs> Are you trying to what sway a, me? I have, a, I have a top three of who that could be. We'll, we'll talk after. Well, I have a top three, but one of them's Asian. I guarantee you, you would not guess. I can promise you. It's blur, not. blur everything he it says actually, out. Do your, do your three I guesses. I do know this, and it, uh, and it shocked me. Do your three guesses. Okay, uh, it's or, or. I know the answer. No way. No. Oh, no. Fuck. None of the three. No. It was. You're all wrong. It was. That uh -oh. makes sense. That makes sense. Well, they all watched. How does I think that make sense? Don't, sense. Say, don't say they. It was <laughs> and uh, and I and it was like a large group activity. So I imagine that's how it was pitched to oh, him. Oh, because they hadn't. Yeah, they hadn't watched it yet. Yeah, I imagine that's how it was is pitched this, to so him. So this is it's like an old eighties anime movie me. or something. And I'm like, you could have said yeah. like, oh, you know, it's kind of like Men in Black or something. But instead, that was their pitch, Look, and I'm like, I mean, I'm that sure that guy's it's funny. a joker. Is all I'll say. He <laughs> likes to he likes to shake it up. Look, but I remember what I was gonna say. Yeah. By the way. Okay. And it, is I, it still I tried to. Yes, it is. The Dark Gen X uploaded like a bunch of like four pictures on Twitter because you can do four at a time. It's like ah, Smash Summit was great. Yeah. One of the pictures he uploaded was the one he took with Ludwig. And Ludwig was there for like Five two minutes. hours. <laughs> well, he came up to me and told me a story that I had forgotten. And when I ran a parody Twitter account called Unfiltered Toaf, he retired. And I said, announcing a retirement for you is like a little league softball player announcing their retirement from the game. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Wait, he, he said that about you? I said that about him. Oh, about Dark Genex retired from the game. Yeah, oh, he retired yeah. from Melee. And I was like, that's like a little league softball player announcing their retirement. <laughs> That's, uh, that's really funny. Because he wasn't like you know ever that's, a, a that's, top 100 player. That's a pretty big jab for you. Yeah, it was a pretty big roast. And he's he 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 puts his hand on your shoulder. He's like, yeah, man. I was like, uh, I was like Steve Buscemi and Billy Madison. I had the lipstick on and I was ready to fucking kill you. And, <laughs> and no, he was like, he was like it was funny and whatever. And but he had brought that up and I'd forgotten about it. So maybe that's why. But did he bring it up? Like, why would he bring it up? Like, I don't know if you remember because okay. I think I we had never. It was unfiltered. Tofu had done it, and not Ludwig, so he sure, didn't know. Sure, sure, okay, okay. Uh, but let's talk about this because I almost got you fired. Oh, Nick, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I would. Uh, I, I mean, probably not actually. It's a, but it's a big meme. He didn't get him. Uh, we'll put it in the YouTube title. Well, it's gonna Ludwig be the almost YouTube title. got Nick fired. Here's the thing: you work at Beyond the Summit. 
All yeah. right, you e- used and, to Aiden esports production. To be clear, studio. I still do. Shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You're with us now. By the time this airs, you won't work there anymore. That is okay. That, that is, is true. true. So is true, Nick yeah. still works there, and he has no plans <laughs> on leaving because he, he likes the team, he likes the work, whatever. Yeah. But I have announced on this podcast my secret master plan to Not get Nick really rich plan. on a podcast. Well, secret. I thought it was a secret. I thought it was, but you know, amongst us listeners and in yeah, because the CEO of Beyond Summit goes home and then turns on his pod that he sits in and doesn't listen know. to anything. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> so he can recharge. Time to for get the in the well, silence area. <laughs> he doesn't look at any media. What the whatsoever. CEO of Beyond the Summit did Stella. was listen to the podcast and then hear my master plan. And then at the summit, he was like. So I heard your plan. <laughs> That's so funny. And he turns to Aiden and he's like, you motherfucker. Because apparently he had asked Aiden if Nick's going to leave. And yes. Aiden's like, no, that no, happened. Yeah. Never. When I left because I worked at the same company and I left. And then Ken sat down <laughs> and was like, hey, this isn't going to like be a thing, is it? And Aiden yeah. was like, no way. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the funniest part about it. Was Ken brought that up when I told him I was leaving too. It was the that conversation like after after you left because we were, we were sad. It's yeah. just like, yeah, so the team, uh, like the leads, we've all had a meeting, and we're a little concerned, like, <laughs> about losing the rest of you. And I was like, yeah, th- I don't think you have any reason to worry. <laughs> and it was you like a month later. I think me and Nick both, <laughs> both <laughs> want to stay. And then, and then a year it's later, fun. I'm like, Ken. The sponge- <laughs> Aiden's like, you got nothing to worry about. And, like, the SpongeBob screen pops up, and it's, like, three days later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I, I speaking of SpongeBob and how it connects to every piece of our life, Eamon did this thing where he went, he basically, I was, he said he was going out. Uh, this was like last weekend, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, we joked with him a lot. We're like, you gonna, you gonna have sex, Eamon? Mm-hmm. You gonna have sex you with You gonna go have sex with someone? You gonna have sex with someone? No, I'm not gonna have sex with someone. No, I'm not gonna do that. He does do that. He's gonna go like hang out, whatever. And, and, I, and he gets I, really never mind. defensive. Never mind. I will, he gets really okay. defensive. He gets very defensive when you ask him. I already brought it up. I'm gonna say He it. comes home. And uh, I, I hit him again, like, fucking have some sex. I mean, you have sex when you hung out or what? And he's like, and he's, he looks me dead ass in the eye. He's like, no, 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 I didn't, know. And I'm sitting at my computer, and he gets in his rolly chair and rolls up to me really close, and he's like, I had sex. <laughs> Dude, what, with that wow. person. What's also funny about that is before he left the house, I did the same exact thing to him, and I was like, you got shingles, man. Uh, and, and he was like, he was like, I'm not gonna have sex. I have shingles. That's what he said. He's like, I have shingles. I'm not gonna have sex. And then when he had sex, I was like, that guy's got shingles, man. And, and Aiden goes, oh, Aiden goes, I kept my shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he's going in the pool, oh, dude. And, and, and the reason why SpongeBob reminded me of this was because it's the moment where Squidward does not like Krabby Patties. He's never tried them, and then he finally does. <laughs> And he's after hours at the Carsey Crab, and he's like hiding <laughs> one. And F- SpongeBob finds out. You like intercourse? And he does this don't face. Oh like, yeah, where's the really face, high? And he's like, <laughs> you like Krabby Patties, don't? And I kept saying that, like, you like Krabby Patties, don't you? Amen? <laughs> you like getting sexy time, don't you? Amen? He was also like, yeah, but I kept my shirt on, and I was like, damn, it's like that, like a fucking. Did like, you tell them disrespectful? Of course. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not. I'm not insane. Oh my god. I, I don't know. To be, oh hey, do you want to go somewhere? Or private also it's i have this crazy. disgusting disease yeah it's crazy you said to them i have a gross icky <laughs> shingle body that's not what i said <laughs> you'll get it if we fuck and then they're like okay. also they're like god you've seen it oh no oh no shingle update okay shingle now shingle update. they're gone they were not that is not gone that is not gone show the viewers show the viewers at home that is not gone it's fucking that's fine no but it's fine but a week ago it looked like a fucking like a 13 year old boy in middle school on the Accutane before it kicked in. Oh, yeah. I took it did not look like that. He's just raw. He's described look, these poorly every step of the on way. On your acne, we got to talk about you. My acne. No, your fucky boy. My fucky hey, boy? Hey, hey. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> your penis and Why did you lie? What To him? Yeah. yeah. Because I hate when you're right. <laughs> no. Cheech man. Did you not plan on having sex? No. No. <laughs> I just wanted a good night in for once and it I was had a to night have sex. And, and I... to Mr. and Mrs. McPeg, I, I'm, I, we're kidding. He didn't actually have sex. He's waiting until marriage, you as, as you promised. He, d- d- last week? No. <laughs> I didn't call them. I didn't be like, no. yeah, yeah, mom, dad, I, I had sex. Like That would be no, a good update. I, I, I think I'm, I'm actually super... I think ever since I left home, I'm like super honest with my parents about everything when the topic comes up. So, but they gotta like, ask. They gotta ask the right question. I mean, yeah. You haven't told them about heroin yet. 
That's true. You didn't tell yeah. him. Well, You've been doing a lot of heroin. Yeah. I mean, over Christmas, like when the track marks were out, it was <laughs> <laughs> it was time to but, fess up. Yeah, yeah. you got to uh, come clean there. <laughs> that aside, I was. Uh, like I think when it babies. just comes up on like a phone call or something, I think I'll be pretty like open with them about like my my <laughs> sex life or something if it were to come well, up. Well, ma. <laughs> but it just has to be like a really specific conversation. Sure. And. Uh, yeah I, I also i yeah one i just hate when you guys are right okay and i didn't plan on it and uh <laughs> Dude, we were we were giving you shit for it for so long and like to a to a point where it was like actually a meme it's like he's obviously not going to and he came home and it's which is like, funny because like we, we've somehow like food. we've somehow found a way to dunk on aiden for fucking <laughs> yeah what's funny, funny is the first year he lived with us he never had sex and never had anyone over and we'd make fun of him for that and we then he also dude, did this have is exactly sex. this is exactly like when, when i got bullied in second grade for having arm hair and then i shaved and got bullied yeah. for having shaved yeah, arms damn, this is the same there's thing. no winning i am just did, carrying the, the that old, weight the old thing was <laughs> call us I, addison that i haven't had sex with any, anyone in the old house yeah and then uh, i'm projecting and then i, I will, did I, can... I did have sex with people i had uh -huh. sex with a number of people and then you shifted <laughs> the goalpost yeah. and it was like well you haven't had sex in this house because uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. i i would go over their places <laughs> yeah <laughs> we fuck you up a man <laughs> oh i will say i, I also hate picking <laughs> shit from it from you specifically Why? because you do have no game you have no game what? oh it's true I, okay, everybody. You're says, lucky hey, you lock Cutie down because you have no. No, no. no she game. said she said he honey dicked her. All right, let's go around. <laughs> everybody say your number because I don't think I'm the lowest of Did, people wait, you've had sex with. The number of women, women or people you've had sex with. Uh, Human if beings. If my mother's watching, no one. We're waiting till marriage. Uh, if she isn't watching this episode, I I gotta think about it. Come back to me. I gotta think about it. I, don't, what? I, th I thought a lot. I just don't remember. <laughs> okay, he's uh, doing slime? the math. Mine's like. I think it's like 22, 23. Wait, that, that, that's wrong. You've told me this number before. It's higher than that, right? Maybe it's higher. I forget. The first time you told me, I think you said like 28 or 27. Mine's low. Mine's like three or f like three. Mine's or four. Mine's three. <laughs> Virgin! <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking oh about. My God. I hate taking wow. shit from him. You're off the show. <laughs> it's okay. I clocked more hours than him. <laughs> it's all about the game, right? Great game. Great game. I got great game. Woo, 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 woo. This guy's got some OT. Yeah. Uh, Don't come at me in the Xbox Live call, dude. You're going to fucking... <laughs> Aiden's on, number on. is equivalent see. to like the... Uh, like amount of steam games, like soda pop. <laughs> what? <laughs> I no is listen. This, this is amount of melee sets Megos. Well, I've just been in like too many committed relationships for long periods of time. You have. To, I, here's the thing. I had uh, so I I got broken up with a couple years ago. Yeah. And I was so bummed out about it. I literally went through the Rolodex and like counted you did just that, to like huh? psych myself up. Uh, and it was in a note in my phone. <laughs> Dude, Wait, that's like gone. that story of. Uh, I've had sex before. So <laughs> I can like do that, it again. That's like that story of Firepuff, like after watching a scary movie and then driving home and doing the mango chant to not feel so scared. Yeah. That's you. You're going through your Rolodex and you're like, oh, I was like yeah. at least 30 minutes that's with that girl. Like, that's literally, <laughs> literally what I hours. did. Add up the hours, Anthony. I was really sad, and so yeah, I was like, oh, I'm, I, I still, I'm still cool. And then, uh, so whatever, when we had that conversation, I had a very hard number, but I just forgot it, so. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when my ex-girlfriend broke up with me and I was going, that was down bad, uh, I, I think back to how I just watched, like, every single Rooster Teeth Minecraft Let's Play to feel better, and then I think <laughs> about that, and I was like, that's really funny. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that is. Because like, it did help. That's your, uh... <laughs> That's your proverbial ice cream. It helped. Yeah, that's your. It did like, help. Like, well, I, I was really <laughs> fucked really, up. Really... I was so fucked up about that. My friends had to have an intervention for me at one point, and uh, and they just came, I just showed. They're at my house one day when I got home from work, and I was just like, uh, what's "Bro, up, guys? you're being." And they stupid. literally, they were they were sitting around in a circle like, "Yeah, we came over because like you are you are not fun to be around." And I was just I was mad. I was like, "Fuck you guys! Like, go home." And, and they're like, "We care about you." And I was like, "Shut up." Uh, and then I just go home and I fucking I'm like I'm like the meme of the angry guy crying and I'm just watching Minecraft. That's crazy. Yeah. The house. But I I, I remember I remember after that I had this like deal with myself. I was like I will never be a pussy simp online ever again, and I haven't been since. Yeah, just then. in real been. life. There you go. Yeah. You know when people are like, Ludwig, you've brought this up before, where you're like, people like, oh man, you saved my life, Ludwig. You saved my life with your content. And you're like, no, I didn't. You say like, you're the one who is putting in the work to make yourself better or whatever. And I think a lot of times, like, 
especially like in a young man's life, I think when you like get broken up with like that and then you, you just latch onto something. For me, it was actually Cowboy Bebop. Mm. And Lupe yeah. Fiasco. You just, was, I, was, I think cringe. honestly, you're just kind of you're just picking something that like elicits enough of an emotional reaction in you that you cannot think about whatever the fuck is bothering you yeah, for it, it, an it, hour. It's synonymous with like being safe emotionally, and I can just imagine that's happened with Ludwig stuff. Someone has yeah, marathoned 100%. every Ludwig video after getting after fucking swerved. Someone's going through it right now, watching this podcast. Ugh. Damn. I hey, just want you to know to you, I am not you. I am not here for you. I salute you. But I salute you. Uh, I, I, Aiden is the most here for you. Uh, if you want to DM any of us about it, he might reply. <laughs> Shoot a DM uh, to at Amon underscore please. Calvin. Dude, I actually had this happen to me once where he, he, you guys, it's just another what? wave Dude, of the I, thing from the well, last no, episode. Wait, wait, wait. Have you gotten more? Yes. How, what is it? Frustrating or fun? <laughs> It's not fun. Is dude, it not fun to talk to our no, listeners? No, they're not. Uh, some of them are nice. To their credit, most of them are nice. Hey. And then the other half of them are like trying to be funny and are not. Like, was you anyone can't... funny? No. Dude, almost I like how one, one person was funny. One person Wait, was funny. What did they say? And they were. And uh -oh. they. Oh, you're going to give them so much validation. They were an Australian melee player. Oh, that's fine. Did they say some, those guys thing? are all homies. Translate they're for us. Hmm? What was the funny thing? Uh. I can't remember honestly. I, <laughs> I, 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 on the topic of this, like the this sort of life and getting more DMs, man, does this fucking suck? And I wish it would stop. I get DMs actually frequently from people who do things like this. They go, "Hey, man, I just want to let you know, like I've been going through a lot, and I've been like watching the stuff that you do, and it's like helped a lot." And I and I'm, I'm like moved by that, and so I'll respond. And I don't want them to feel ignored when they pour their heart out to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm like, "Hey, man, it means a lot. Thanks." And then they always do the same thing. They go, hey, just say hi to Ludwig for me oh. or something like that. That was oh. all they wanted to fucking say. Oh. And they thought this was their way they could one. I found Ludwig told me about this. I found out that people will DM you something that they, they believe can get you to at least respond one time because yeah. it takes you out of the message request area of yeah. Twitter yeah. and puts and now, you in the main DMs. And now so now when they so. DM you, you get an actual notification for it. Yeah. That is liter that is like fucking American psycho shit. That is crazy. No, no, they just uh they're just fans <laughs> of Ludwig, man. There was random one random fan that I appreciate the DMs from and he he just drops them on occasion, but he sends different funny pictures of raccoons to me. And that's <laughs> all he does. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. like that. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> what what is happening in real time in front of everyone's eyes is you guys are both turning into me slowly. Because I've been like this. I don't, well, I don't despise it like you. I just hate the deception. If mm -hmm. someone messages me and it's just like, hey, like if they like like do some, something like, oh, I appreciate you do, even if it's more fanny, even if they're like, like they send me some played out meme, I just ignore it or I'll, or I'll say like, thanks. I don't care though. It doesn't ruin my day or make me think about it for more than a second. I, I mean, yeah. I'm getting better at ignoring. But. I feel that I I feel bad when I don't acknowledge and respond because I think I've always been able to do that for you the most part. You piece of shit. You don't respond to your friends. No, hold on. That's, I'm getting around to that. Okay. Why don't, you, why don't you cool your sorry. jets? I'm sorry. Yeah, you uh, got he, that was real cool. I feel bad because anybody who anybody who reaches out, I would I would at least like to give the the like dignity of like responding and like recognize them, right? But now it's like it's it's falling into this place where there's so many messages uh, that it's it's really hard to like get to them all because I'm already bad at responding to people normally. Like I'm really bad at just responding to people I really care about. You yeah. Know? And I, I, but I always feel that level of guilt because that's why Mark everything is unread because it's this idea that I will get to it. I think the main difference between you and Anthony though is that if this exact thing were to happen to you in real life, you actually wouldn't, you would like that. You would like if people came up to you in real life and started conversations. Yeah, because that's cool. Yeah, I don't, I Anthony don't like hates conversations that. like that. I, I'm it, down it's, for that. it's not like, I'm down. Yeah, I don't have a, like a disdain for it. It actually just makes me nervous because like I feel like a random conversation happening to me. It's like, I, I don't want to waste their time. I'm probably not interested in what they have to say. I just want to get in, get out. Social situations override my fucking brain. You got I, no game? Yeah, I have no game. Yeah. You have no I, game with fans. You, know you got no platonic game. He does game. have game. He does have game. In the old house, I was thinking about this. He hooked up with somebody. And the next morning, and the next morning, he comes out in his underwear and uh, she's already left, by the way. So he's not yeah. like parading in front she of her. She left her vape in and, my room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? That's funny. And, yeah. and, uh, he just comes out of his room and he's brushing his teeth and he's like, look at me, a king, 
a god. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Fucks one time. Oh, I don't remember this. This is recorded. This is a video too. So really? we can we can like put this at the front Find of a future yeah, yeah. episode of the podcast. <laughs> you know you roll it. it. Roll it right you now. Yeah, funny... We can roll it for this one. I can this I can is, post it. I, I love that you set that up because you <laughs> yeah. know what happened? Mm-hmm. I got gonorrhea from I was person. wondering if I could talk oh, about this. Uh, <laughs> it was my first my first I wasn't gonna say it. I'm a god. He came up to me like it must have been like a couple weeks later, right? And you're like, so uh, you know that girl I hooked up with? I got a leaky dick now, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's dude. exactly listen, what he said. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. I, dude, I, no. I can't believe you're. I had to wear a diaper. Oh. So, <laughs> you did, yeah. Listen, all right, everyone. Here's. Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell he you got everything. a diaper for his leaky PP. <laughs> listen to me, dude. Do you have a, your favorite brand now? <laughs> so, so this this actually came after the the girl Huggins? that broke up with me. Um, so I got broke up with. I wrote all of the girls I ever had sex with down in a in a. I a put them up on a pad. wall and drew lines between them. <laughs> and then I, no, I didn't. Just how we get back to fun. I'm just saying these things happened in succession. And then I. Pepe and Sylvia. Then I, Pepe Sylvia. And then I go, <laughs> And then I got on Tinder. And so, uh, you know, I go on a date with this girl. We go and see Jojo Rabbit. It sucks. Uh, I've and Someone asked me, by I the way, it. they right. DM me it, and yeah. they're like, just curious, why didn't you like Jojo Rabbit? And it's like, I don't want to talk to you. That's like, a, I don't, it's a pretty good movie. I liked it. I didn't like it. I also didn't like it, but I recognize it to be like I think the kid movie. was a great actor, too. So... Uh, we we go see this movie and and I I think I'm pretty charming you know I I, I like connecting with people in like a, a a planned environment you know so for all the Mario Goatsy picks you're you're a very good date as yeah, far I'm as a I great understand date. and so and yeah and so we we talked and then it kind of <laughs> it escalated and I was like do you wanna do you wanna come back to my place and she's like yeah sure and so so yeah so we end up here's the thing though dude it, it, I have so much to say about this she. <laughs> Love okay, family guy. It, listen. She, <laughs> she, she just kept saying Peter. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. This side note, hate girls who do Cartman impressions. Was she the hardcore, hate, was she the hardcore hate, Republican? No. Okay. I love that story. I yeah. love that I love story. I'll tell that one later too. I'll tell that one later. So this girl, she uh I we had sex and she uh she cringe. She, blew me with her mouth right she, she pro- <laughs> so cringe oh, yeah. I, I, this is gonna get a little graphic guys so if you want to skip she ahead blew me with her feet if you're uh, like a ludwig aged viewer you probably don't want to listen i'm 26 to this. yeah if you're if you're below the age of 18 go ask your parents to listen with you <laughs> so okay mom dad we're gonna so, up permission slips she blows me but she's like really getting fucking like down there right okay. like and, and i'm like damn all this meat and she, like, the way yeah. you're telling this story is so weird yeah, it's so much worse what than telling saying, it's like she this is gonna matter and then we have sex with a condom okay yes. that that makes sense because that's what you do so i end up getting gonorrhea mm, from her from her teeth and mouth how did that happen and i'm thinking about it and i'm mm. researching because like so what happened Wait, was like she blew another dude with gonorrhea no listen to me she had gonorrhea in her throat Whoa. Because I, I, Throat-a-ria. so when I, I messaged her and I was like, Hey, I know this is awkward. We actually like, we didn't like vibe at all after that. Um, we kind of just talked for a little bit and then we just, just didn't, we didn't message each other again. She didn't even ask for her vape. I was like, okay. That's like Osmosis Jones three. And, and they gotta they gotta go to the throat and get rid of all the gonorrhea in there. <laughs> the big pill guy. Oh, the big quickly. pill guy is like eight, she, she definitely blew a guy. With she right. was a date at eight o'clock. <laughs> get rid of this gonorrhea. So listen, we failed her. So when when I I start like it, it, it's a really bad feeling, right? Like your your dick feels like there's something in it. Right, and so you're, oh. and you're just constantly leaking. And I finally look, and I'm like, oh my god! And I was really scared. <laughs> the term it's, leaking is so graphic. Dude, it's gross. There's it, a big white fly that says "bang" coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they call it the drip. That's the, the like the the slang yeah. for it. And so I'm scared, right? This sucks. And and she's like, this is my first like STD I've ever had. And um, so I'm like, oh my god! So I message her. I'm like, hey, it's really awkward. I just want to let you know, I uh, I got gonorrhea. I have it. Because I went to the doctor, they diagnosed. Dude, I pulled down my pants, and the doctor was like, "Yep." And (laughs) that was exactly like shingles. The moment I lifted the shirt, he's like, "Ah, that's shingles." It's crazy crazy what a little knowledge can do for you. (laughs) He hits a big red button, all those alarms go up. They get him evacuated immediately. A clown comes in in on a bike. It's the Monsters Inc. The little, the little thing that's like taped on the wall of every doctor's office. He finally takes it off and breaks it and puts it under your nose. (laughs) We never need this thing. So, so yeah, and and she. 
the doctor was like, yeah, okay, here's a big uh, horse pill. I eat that. And then she gave me a shot in my ass. And that was it. And it cured it after like a week. So lucky and that I, you I was, got one that could go away. I'm on the I'm on the drive home and I'm just like, this is so sick. Because if this is the Middle Ages, I still have a leaky dick. Yeah. You know? And so, okay. So this all happens. I message her. I say, hey, this is like, I'm sorry. This is awkward. Um, but... I got gonorrhea and you're the only person I've had sex with since my ex-girlfriend and she did not have anything because we have tested with each other. So I'm just telling you like it's uh, 99% I got it from you. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm confused because we wore a condom um, and then she was like, oh, that's that's weird too because I've got tested like super recently and I didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. But I'll, you know, I'll check again, again. Like she was like, I'm sorry. Like I'll, and I was like, okay, it's okay. And you know, we're just adults about it. And then I'm fucking reading. And I find out that getting tested for gonorrhea, you literally need to, you can get it in your throat and not in your, in your, in your downstairs. And you need to be tested for both. Oh, right? and she only did the, oh, the, the one she piece. She only did the one piece and not the two piece. Yeah. And that's how I got it. So guys, be careful. Cause that can happen. Damn. Imagine going to the doctor and they're, they're checking for like strep throat and they're like, all right, I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> 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 but it's gonna be is, hard to she, didn't, she didn't know either and like it, it was it's it's a weird weird can it just be like in there and not like think, show itself in any way like i don't know i think so it's gonna be like a it's not a fun conversation to have in any circumstance but you just like have to have it. how was oh, the yeah. shingles conversation that with with this person yeah did you have to explain what shingles are <laughs> <laughs> they knew about it already okay your shingles <laughs> yes you like postured before you hung out no, I no, they met and, he, and she was like, oh, you're the shingles guy. <laughs> she knew that's how they hit it off. I listen to the yard. You're shingle boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, she knew she knew about it already. All right. And I just explained like uh, she's like she wanted to have sex. And I just like explained like how you can get it. And then we we're just like, well, do you want to keep your shirt on? Yeah, and I was like, uh, <laughs> it's like okay. you, it's yeah. like you going in the pool at a party. And yeah, dude, when you got pu puffy nipples <laughs> and, and you like, keep your shirt on, you got the big old puffers. You're like the all the small things music video <laughs> when he has like the huge fucking nipples at the water park. That's you, <laughs> except you don't have big nipples. Wait, wait, are, wait shingles, no, yeah. are you talking about the Sum Forty One uh, video? No, this in is this deep? is this is all the small things. Okay. Wait, is it in too deep? Well, in too deep, it's the guy. He's the lead in guitarist, and he's I think he's got wait, big isn't nipples. Wait, isn't in too deep? No, this is Blake is the pool video. Right? Five bucks. In too deep is I, also link, a pool I say Blink-182. You want to do five bucks? No, because do it, do it, do it, do it, Okay, are you talking about it's in an empty pool and there's no, a diving I'm, contest? Yeah, that's, that is some, that, that is some 41. I'm talking about the guy with the big nipples at the water park. Confused. It's just two different this is Blink nipple experiences. I'm sure. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> to be clear, it doesn't hurt anymore. It's fully healed. I'm finished my medication. Oh, we, we can put a stake in it. I'm down to top talking about shingles for yeah, the rest of the podcast. Thank you. Yeah. I would like to leave this. I would like to leave this era of my life. Get it again. Can I just get? Can I get just one more out? If we're gonna go away with and never do it again, can I just go one out? Fine. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really nervous. Okay. Ew! <laughs> gross! <laughs> it's not even gross. <laughs> oh, show me! It's not even gross. Yuck! It's not even gross anymore. All right. All right. In celebration. You never said your number, by the way. It's four. No, I said it's four. It's four. And it's four. And you beat him by one, which is three. And that's and why then, he's the virgin. And then my number is I. I, I don't want to fucking. And then your number is, is seven thousand six hundred and thirty-nine. Okay, that's a little high. To be clear, my number is lower than it's. It is higher than Hassan's. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Really? No way! No, no. Hassan, no shot! Hassan, oh, oh, triple digit Hassan! You no, know, we asked dude. him. You know, we asked him. He didn't. Yeah, when we met him, and he and he literally looked at us and he looked up in the air and he went, "I got no fucking clue." And I was like, I just laughed. Dude, no, what was annoying is I said, "Let's both say our number on three and he goes, "Okay." And then <laughs> yeah, I say my oh, number, he and he goes, you into "Yeah, it. I don't know my number." You hit him with. I'm a like, four. why would you agree to saying the number if you don't know the number? That guy's a beast. He's just yeah. built a fuck. I mean, he's just uh, he built. He's the most desirable man on the internet, I think. So. I will say I went to his house. Great home. Great man. He has a P.O. box like me. Someone sent him nudes in his oh, P.O. Yeah. box. He talked about that on stream. He just, they just sent him nudes. Yeah, he went through them like you go through Pokemon cards. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. He went through like, I, 9. Have, this, I have this one. 9.5 PSA 10. I have PSA this 10. one. <laughs> wow. Someone sent me dirty underwear. That was gross. Really? No I way. That. That is I never saw it. Gross, dude. Cutie picks up my P.O. Box stuff and she got it. She screens it. She screens it. That is so gross. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, it was this apparently is a from little poop, man. someone in Canada called McCaig. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eamon, Eamon's dad said his dirty, <laughs> shitty underwear. They were Fruit of the Loom. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even live in Canada. <laughs> Imagine your dad's funny. Hey, bod, you get, you get my present I sent you in the mail? <laughs> no. I left some streaks in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> A couple skid marks. Uh, speaking of skid marks, a lot of people these days be shitting the bed with their money, and that's why we have a new sponsor. What a transition. Coinbase. Coinbase. Hey, guys, listen up. We are sponsored, this podcast, by Coinbase, which is an app you can use and you can buy and sell cryptocurrency. Been around for a long time. It's been around during the boom. Remember mm -hmm. the boom? Mm -hmm. And uh, and that is who we're sponsored by, and they have a blue color scheme. That's cool. That's my shirt also. And uh, take it away, guys. I think what's cool, I, honestly, something I think that's cool about like crypto popping off is, uh, you know, we we work like together sometimes in the ad space, making commercials uh, through my job. Sometimes slime will write for us. Sometimes Ludwig will act for us. Uh, Aiden at Shingles, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had one. Well, yeah. uh, but uh, it's like I've just never in my life seen a crypto commercial ever, like or like a Coinbase or like anything like that. Yeah. So it's like there's nothing really to reference, and you gotta you reference like traditional media, but it's kind of just a new playing field to make media for. Yeah. For everything, streaming, like all of it, it's just all new territory. That was the if there was a chat right now, they'd just be saying chill, Dan's game. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, it's but cool. I I uh I mean I directed that commercial for the Mogul Money, and that was like a project we all worked on. It was really fun and cool. Yeah, well, it turned out really. If well. you guys are listening. You can download Coinbase. I don't even think we have a code at this point, honestly. I think it's just literally download it, and they mm. just want you to have it. They're very new, yeah. and they're using us as guinea pigs, so hopefully don't screw this up so they stick around for a while. Yeah. All right. Soul Sellers? Hey. Soul Sellers? Well, hopefully. We have a sponsor. We Soul fuck it up, and then Coinbase likes it, and then we can start making money because uh, Eamon... I'm now your boss. One step closer to Ludwig's plan is getting <sighs> I'm Eamon's boss now. So don't don't rub also, your hands together like you aren't hey, a part Ludwig, of this plan. Ludwig, Ludwig, Ludwig your boss. employee was rude to me today. Oh. At work. HR meeting live. Hi, I'm HR. Yeah, so uh, he was telling me to you shut up. HR. Hey, shut you up, You said dude. you were HR. You're talking to your boss shut, right now. Shut up, bro. Are you HR or is he HR? S suck me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have an HR problem. <laughs> well, I'm HR, so I'll just let that slide. <laughs> I'm all of it. Does it feel good? Do you think I'll be a good boss? <laughs> I stop, Why are you stop laughing? This. No, stop this shit. Why is he laughing? Because he literally sees what I go through every day trying to get you to, like, say what day it is my, of the week. One of my favorite Ludwig Slime interactions ever, ever, is Anthony Anthony showing him and walking him through why he should oh, not show. I was so mad. I was so Wait, fucking what? mad at why you, you, dude. Why you should not show the last four digits of your new credit card on stream. <laughs> oh, subs. my God. And, and the step-by-step -step process by which you can avoid showing these four digits when you give subs to people on stream. Uh -huh. And you, you're sitting there, and you're like, yeah, uh-huh. And just uh, you know, looking at your phone. Anthony spends a good... 20 to 15 you know 15 to 20 minutes explaining why this is important later that evening the credit card <laughs> the credit card just goes out it was actually a moment it. I, I actually sat down it. with him afterwards and was like i feel disrespected and i need to know as a friend that you were not trying to disrespect me that you're just <laughs> like being i pulled up asshole. the floor and be like uh oh it's like he's on stream going what <laughs> I'm not gonna show it. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do this. Because <laughs> what? Five subs right now. Five subs right now. I I have to like every time something like that happens. I it creates like hours of work for me. Right. Let's say we have to cancel that card. Then we have to get a new one. Then we have to set up a card that can do gift subs and like the volume that he moves through. And it's a pain in the ass. And so it's like I need you. What I was saying to him was like I need you to just acknowledge. That look, he's already tired. He's already he's already running his hands through his hair. <laughs> no, he's fucking he's thinking about a moment. Just because you don't know what it feels like does not mean I'm tired. I'm just working. <laughs> already, already, already spacing out, thinking about fucking Durs and rubbing his belly. And I'm like, and I just need you to acknowledge that putting in a little effort stops me from having to do a bunch of unnecessary work. And I hope that got through. You know what that, that? This is the team I'm joining. Yeah. So it, it basically welcome to the team. Thank you. Welcome to the team, man. Are you excited? Yeah, actually. I think, I, I mean, I made like a big, like, I tried to make a pretty like thoughtful and like heartfelt post about it and like how I, how I feel about my job currently, about like how I really do like it. I think I'm a little jaded with esports in general and He's that good. like makes me think about trying out something new. And you've talked about this idea 
of this like merch company Mm -hmm. uh for a while and i always thought it was a really good idea so when the opportunity came up and you wanted to take it more seriously i was like yeah i think i i think i want to do this and i'm really excited to to do something new because i feel like uh for me (laughs) i've wanted to do esports for so long for since i was 16 like i have been pursuing esports as a career like as a as an end goal and now it's like I'm going to give it all up and go work for my roommate. <laughs> I will say uh, my un, uh, unabashed confidence is is maybe misleading because we were talking to Eamon about it in the in like the gym, like working out. And I was talking about the company. He's like, how do you think it'll do? I was like, ah, easy eight figures. <laughs> <laughs> I, I everyone will be like, really? And I'll be like, yeah. I drove him. I Dude, I fucking hate you so goddamn much. I drove you. I love we were you. going to the venue uh-huh. and we're driving. And I'm like, so yeah, this merch company, I'm like, kind of worried like are, do you feel like we're just in a really good spot like as far as like money and stuff like that and like and doing well and you literally do that you were like yeah <laughs> and i'm yeah, like it's easy, it's why figures, can't bro. we just have a conversation easy. about like and be honest about it, like our fears and our thoughts and our hopes and our dreams no fears mm. full throttle only I confidence only pedal to hey, the metal and that's why i'm on board Cut. we outnumber the what skeptical is, what is guy the tweet, over there nick where it's like if for for like it's just like the the white people like coin flip where it's like, hey, we should either start a podcast oh, oh. or start a merch company. Yeah, it's like start a merch yeah. company or start a podcast, and now you're both of them. And yeah. the coin has yeah. landed on its on its, on its side. side. Yeah. We hit it's green. like an inception when they spin the top and it just never falls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we're just doing both. <laughs> and that's yeah. like the revenue, and the, never ending. And the streams cross when we do podcast merch. Yeah, ooh, cool. you know, one day I, that happens. I would love to have not, a sick. Not ass even. I, I'm excited just like having this like first product He's of my work. Ms. So merch. you can't even. This isn't a plug because you can't even buy it. Yet, but idiot, uh, uh, I'm showing this off because Ms. Kiff decided to it's show it already. Really cute, and uh, I like a lot. I like how it looks a lot. Um, um, it is cute. It's nice to have a physical product in your hand and be like, Yeah, I helped get that done. And, I think uh, something that is really cool that I just sort of never anticipated from all this was uh, like when Ludwig first asked me to design some stuff for Mogul Moves and like for some of the hoodies, just seeing people wearing it. Like I'll go places or I'll go to like esports events particularly, not like yeah. in public as much, but I'll just see someone like wear something that was on my computer at one point, and that is a weird feeling. I haven't seen one in the wild. I've seen a couple in the wild. My roommate from wild. college, well, I talked to him on the phone the other day, and he was like, "Yeah, I saw, I saw like I think one of your hoodies," and I, like I was gonna go up to him, and then I was like, "Wait, what do I say here?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is weird. I used to live with that. That's guy. That's a quick conversation. It's yeah. like, hey, th- hey, that guy used to be my used to be my roommate. And he's like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah. Are you... Came to his pants a lot. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I did come to myself a lot back then. <laughs> what do you think your number is for cummed in your pant? At night? Lifetime. <laughs> lifetime. At night. Jeez. I know my number. 26. Really? Oh, not really, that little. I would say... I would say... I, I thought it was a Hassan number. <laughs> that's how many, I, that's how many times I've shit myself in my bed. Not actually. <laughs> wow. I, Impressive. I've never What's done your that. number? Two. Two time, shameful, two time. pathetic, low numbers. No, I've, to, to I, clear, I've never done that, and I'm not even bragging. I'm a little jealous. Proud of. Low should be something you low should be proud of. Me, I, high tea, low tea. Come to a lot. When I was, I, I've told this story before. I think I'm like bad melee. From uh, February 20, uh, 2009 to February 2010, I didn't jerk off. I yeah. wanted to see as if a I challenge. Could, as a challenge. Yeah, you and, have told me this. And I just did it to like to prove to my own body and soul. Uh, that was the only time in which that happened to me. Yeah, then I started hearing colors and it, <laughs> it became too overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. That that much. joke about being able to levitate and shit, but but yeah, I, I did it. I remember the day that the clock turned over and I was like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> accomplished. I am actually super impressed by that because I'll see you like try to not do like like a bad knee in, in melee and, and, and like you can't like you actually can't resist. I'm getting better at doing things <laughs> that take discipline. But you it's, are. It's, I've noticed. I'm you 31, are. and so it's a little late, but whatever. I've been getting rocked by Sheesh Man lately. I will say that. So I will say, oh great! I'm so glad we can talk about this. Shake drizzle. Ludwig's we editor. met Ludwig's editor. We met Ludwig's editor, but more importantly, he's cool. He's nice. Yeah, he's not weird, which is awesome. Yeah, it would have been a shame if he was weird. He mm-hmm. was a bigger YouTuber than me when he started. It's true, which is funny. A couple people who met him at Smash Summit were like, "Oh, you're like shaking like the Lee Sin like yeah. montage guy." People will know and that. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I, I know him from Smash. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, for making uh, PR combo <clears throat> videos. But uh, what's more important is that I uh, played probably about I don't know maybe 50, 60 games of Melee with him. And I took a shit on him for ninety nine percent of those. He took a poop on his on his head and, and mouth. Uh, and I dubbed my myself the Sheesh Man. Why and is that? Why do you call yourself? Because every time I would beat him, I go Sheesh Man. 
Yeah. You know, what's funny is I was talking to, uh, to Nick Yingling, who is here, and he said that Sheesh is out. No, it is. Because they played Apex Legends. Yeah. And a 14-year-old year old old told them that it was cringe to say Sheesh. Yeah, no. 100%. I just I I have this problem where I just have like verbal tics that I lean on to like fill in gaps in my like in my head. It's contagious. Like a psycho. It is. It's so, ruined. So when COVID started, I I had this bit which okay, it's a red man, which is just like an Eastern European guy with no accent that makes any sense. Right? Yeah, you become a Pokemon. I do, but that actually came from my friend Sam, who did a, a, a impression of Arteezy, the Dota player, which is a really good impression, and he ended it with, all right, and, <laughs> and I would like put man at the end of that, and when COVID hit, and I was just in the house all the time with Eamon making eggs in the morning, I would just become the all right man. <laughs> and, and eventually, eventually just saying it lost its luster, so he would just start screaming it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do this scream is, it. Every morning in the old house at the beginning of COVID, it was so fun. <laughs> We had a nice routine because I, I didn't, I don't think I had the desk yet. So I used to, when, when I moved into the old house with them for the first time, I didn't have a normal desk. I had an Ikea shelf, like an Ikea. Two squares wide. Yeah, two squares wide that I put my PC on and my knees would go in the cubbies of the It was literally, it wasn't even like a desk. It was literally just fucking like. Like, how many you put books in? You yeah. could, like, afford a Yeah, it was desk, a tiny dude. bookshelf. It was so funny. I was just lazy. That's why it, it's... <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm i just really bad at following through with it's making my living arrangements It's actually funny because you would play shooters nice. with, like, a foot of mouse space, maybe less. A fucking tarot And nowhere card. to put your legs. And, and I was just like, dude, you could, like, probably improve <laughs> dude, if you change this. They would, like... They, this is their introduction to me when I moved in with them during COVID. Is, like, Anthony would walk downstairs in his underwear or something. Because I felt like you wore less clothes back then. And then I would be on my little Ikea shelf, like, up like this. And I'd be playing like studio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's exactly like that. You miss and it. I, I'd be playing agency or like CS:GO uh, or uh, which is also fucking CSGO. crazy. That we found that out that you play. You do not <laughs> play the maps in the competitive pool. You play with, agency with my binds, with my chat binds set to every key on my keyboard. Dude. And, and they they like don't know me very well yet. But this is like. Well, we should explain the chat binds. You're a psychopath. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. Dude, Amen. Amen is one of the most nice people that you'll ever meet and you'll have great encounters with but when he games he is he devoid is a of all toxic joy piece Dude, of insane. shit yeah. you're insane so so we get we we played csgo a lot uh, back when we met aiden and we're like oh you play too that's great let's get in the game let's play some game yeah this is about my main social interactions with you guys before moving in with you were playing csgo in that 10-man server so in the in the summer before i moved in with you like we had met we would all met each other at like events here and there um, or spoken at events, but more briefly, but how I got to know or like hung out with them over a more extended period of time was like hanging out in those CSGO games, which was like the summer before I moved in, I think. So, dude, so we get in the game first time with Aiden and we're like matchmaking, I think, or maybe it was a 10 minute, it doesn't matter. No, we were matchmaking. So we're matchmaking and he fucking, so we start playing the game and all of a sudden we just see the wheelchair emoji start to get spammed. <laughs> In the in the all chat because in CS:GO you can bind two inputs together. So like let's say you move forward, you can bind that to say something in you the chat. You can bind W to say something in the chat, but also still remain your movement key. Yeah, and so Aiden and his friends had this like meta where they would bind essential buttons. For instance, mouse one, the fire button, or like the four directional buttons, or crouch, and they would bind it to say things in all chat. Amongst these phrases were. Uh, Wait, who's down for noodle slam? Who's down for the noodle slam? <laughs> uh, the yeah. wheelchair emoji. Uh, oh, baby, only three fifty a gallon, and then three gasoline emojis. <laughs> and then uh, my favorite, I, I believe, the crouch mine. Hold on, lads, got to crack a few. <laughs> and so, and so, you have to understand the amount of inputs that are happening is a lot. So the chat just starts filling up, <laughs> and, and we're like. Hey, uh, Aiden. Hey, we're like, what the fuck is this? Aiden, love your chic. What the fuck, yeah. man? Why are you doing that in chat? This we is so funny because I've been playing CS:GO for like years before this, and the people that I play CS:GO with the most, uh, they all also do this. So because of this. When every key, when every important key from every member in your party is bound to a copy pass 
<laughs> it's it, the chat isn't readable anymore and the little ticks when the chat goes off they're just white noise you don't even read the chat Dude, anymore it, so i've been playing with them like this for over a year <laughs> and i boot into my first game with other people which is them and then i i don't know they're on because I've forgotten. Like, I forget that Wait, this yeah, is not yeah, disabled yeah. or anything on his end. He just literally <laughs> tunes them out. No, no, no. No, you have chat off. No, no, right? no. I just told oh, you them. told me that. That's crazy. You them. told me that when I asked you about it. <laughs> no, he was. He, I bet he was covering. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and I remember getting in the first game, and my mouse one at the time was set to "Wow, we are really in the sauce." <laughs> <laughs> so a pistol round, you you can't hold down the, the the mouse button, so you have to click. And if you're T side, there's 20 rounds. It's like wow, 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 we're really in the sauce. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, it was, and so I was like, Eamon, what the fuck is this? And you were like, oh shit, sorry, hold on, let me turn that off. <laughs> and I have, to like go, I have to go through the console in CS and like manually unbind every oh single God. key. That is way easier than explaining. Explaining that live in a game would have been like... The, f yeah. the first week that Aiden moved in with us, uh, I come downstairs, no one's home besides me and him, and I see him in the living room and he's playing Mario Kart alone. <laughs> and I was like... That's kind of weird, but whatever. I don't know. He likes Mario Kart. Dude. But he's getting really mad. And he's just like, fuck. Oh, shit, dude. dude. Uh, he's getting really mad. And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, is he just, like, raging at computers in Mario Kart? I'm like, I was a little worried. I'm like, oh, man, this guy's going to be weird to live with. <laughs> and so I go over, and I'm like, what's going on, bud? And he's like, oh, oh, I'm, just, uh, Kong? I'm just playing Mario Kart online. And I was like, what? And then Mario he, Kart and then, Wii. And then I learned that like he's part of like the Mario Kart Wii community. And I was like, oh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. But at the time, I just literally thought that he was just raging at computers. Yeah. I always thought Eamon was a psychopath because he moved in and he didn't have a bed frame. <laughs> and he was yeah. he's like on this huge kick where he's like, yeah, no, no, it's uh, yeah, it's like better. <laughs> yeah. Like, Why? Yeah, yeah, he wasn't that kick. I remember the first nice thing that me and Ludwig ever did for Aiden was we built a bed frame for him. Oh we yeah, did. I thought you guys were so sweet. We were very. I gave sweet. you a big that took hug. So long. I gave you a big hug. You did yeah. give us a hug. Yeah. Because it was a heavy, complicated bed frame. I feel like it had it a lot of pieces. Hard as shit. It, so. That's so fucking. It was so cute, dude. Hey, hey, you were. We really are I, the same. Because people will chastise only, you for being stupid, and you'll be like, "No, no, I'm gonna defend this." I only logic bought. Somehow. I only bought the bed frame because you guys kept mercilessly making fun of it. I eventually caved because you did you posted that one video I'll that's what it, it was I'm gonna that was it, it right okay. now. that was the uh what was the video that was the thing that pushed me over the edge it was the video where he comes into my room and i have i have my yeah. shitty it's not even a mattress it's that you know that three pull out cushion yeah. thing yeah. that we have i was sleeping on that still there's a deflated air mattress like crunched up next to the bed and then snorlax on the floor it was and he DJ. comes in and like films a fake cribs video <laughs> <laughs> and then I get do roasted. You, do you still have your phone case on your phone? Uh, the it ripped off. I think the book. The book. Yeah. Book. You, book. You have your phone book, on you. Book. Book. book? You I phone? don't have it with me. That so. is the that is the thing we roasted Eamon for the Dude, most. He right bought now. a phone case. <laughs> it's his phone looks like a book. And it's huge. It's just a yeah. big ass phone case that is looks like a book, and then on the side it just says book twice. Yeah. <laughs> so book, it just book. says book, book. Like I the people who made it were like, so what do we do? Like what do yeah. we write on it? It, it needs know. something. It, there's I didn't so know many this copyright part. free I didn't titles. know this part when I bought it. <laughs> and so he bought this book book phone case. You still use it. It's been he also has a, he also has a, a split keyboard, so he uses both his hands separately to type. And all these things combined, I was like, did we move in with a fucking weirdo? <laughs> we did. The answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be very clear. Yeah. You guys, yeah. you guys like firm, me. yes. You guys like me now. Yeah. Okay, I, I can't. All right, I can't find it. I'll look for it later. But what I can find is the uh, is when Aiden lost the money match at Friendsgiving. <laughs> no. When I beat him. When you beat him. Uh, I like this story. I think I think it should be told. Yeah. Just just well, we have a tell him the system that we have, yeah. uh, Ludwig. Well, like a lot of people will ask us who's the best at Smash, mm -hmm. and uh, and especially now because Smash is so hot. Uh, with with Summit and and it's hard to answer because we don't play it's each very other clear now a lot it's actually very clear in events and so we did a something called a pride match where yeah. whoever won would be considered the best for six months and then you could rematch at we that all, point uh, if you actually want. there was also fifty on it there was a, there also was fifty on it but it was funny how little that mattered there was yeah. also a stipulation to the bet where if someone asks you who is better at melee yeah. you had to tell them. The other person was better, and you were not allowed to explain that there uh -huh. was a bet. For six months. Yeah, which is, for anyone out there who is a gamer, who is competitive, it just ruins I Yeah, and, like, it's, if you, like, you literally can't, you are bound by, like, 
You have to literally like go. Yeah, Ludwig's uh, Ludwig's better. And I thrashed Eamon. And then this emoji. Right. <sighs> I thrashed Eamon. Thrash I was better than you for he six nar months. He nair rested you to win. <coughs> it was sick. And then uh, I, I also beat Slime. So he also refused to play a best of five. I have never ever True. lost these matches. I've never been worse than you two, but for periods of your life, you two have been worse than me. So I'm at the very least <laughs> yeah. the second best. Player I do. In this I house. do like. I also my favorite bit is just like when Aiden's like, "Well, the, the six months are over, so I'm better now." I'm like, "Well, last time we did the rankings, Ludwig was better, and Ludwig doesn't go to tournaments anymore." Yeah. So honestly, it's hard to tell. I'm retired now. Yeah. I will say melee cut off, also off the heels of like you know one of the sickest tournaments of all time. It is. It is extremely. Like prideful game. Oh yeah, You're, it's a direct extension of you and like the things you want to be. L and yeah, you can L you can speak volumes through how you play it. Ludwig is like he's good, right? He uh, not good at the game, but he's like <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig's. No, what I'm saying is Ludwig's like good. Better like set, he's set to go, yeah. right? He has like he's got money. He's got hoes. He's got views. He's got crypto. He's got you know what I mean? He, he has she, she's every, downstairs man <laughs> he has so many things that so many people would want and he's like this elevated status of a human being but he will still get pissed off losing in melee yeah it's where he returns to his true form and there's I haven't lost in a while there's something beautiful you about lost that. to S-Fat hours ago no I beat S-Fat in you, your asterisk match yes yeah, so I beat him where he he's had one wrong. stock. He's Why'd you bring wrong. it up as if I lost? I beat him. <laughs> I beat his ass. You beat Zane I whooped too. him. Hey, I'm on his side. He beat Zane. I did anyway. beat Zane as well. I did dude, lose to Toph though. Dude, uh, this is going to sound like a self brag. I don't mean it to me. But Moki came up to me at Smash Summit, and I literally did not remember this. But he comes up to me and he goes, hey, do you remember that one time? He was literally leaving. I'm not going to see him again. I didn't talk to him the entire event. Comes up to me and he goes, do you remember that one time that we played each other at the Mango? And it was a setup with me, you, and my K's. And me and you were just having like really close competitive matches. And then I would just fuck my K's up. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I started laughing. And I'm like, no, I don't remember this. Dude. And he's like, he goes, it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love Bogey so much. I was like, Thank you for telling me that. That is awesome. That's an easy right there. <laughs> that kid's, I love Bogey. He's so fucking cool. He's a sweetheart. Yeah. Well, something I wanted to bring up last podcast we didn't get to because we, because the, we were just so juicy and hot. And we're juicy and hot now, but I want to bring this up. So here's, here's something that I, I want to do. When I was uh, 21 or so, uh, I, on my lunch break from work, went to the local grocery store, and I stole, I shoplifted a toothbrush. Okay. I needed electric. A no, just like a normal, to like a pack of toothbrushes. Okay. I needed one, and for some reason, Four I like, I, I didn't, I wasn't struggling or anything like that. I was just like, I don't want to pay for this. It's stupid. Yeah. I don't steal shit uh, anymore. I'm like, that's ten years ago. I'm a normal person, but at that time, I was like, I don't want to pay for this. I'm gonna steal it now. I put the toothbrush pack in my pocket and I walk out of the store. I walk out, this guy stops me. My car is right there oh, and he like walks in front of me. He's like, hey, uh, hey, we can either do this the, uh, the easy way or the hard way. And he has fucking handcuffs. Oh shit. And I'm like, what? He's like, you stole something, come with me. He's not a cop, he's like, a, like the store rent-a-cop. Yeah. yeah. Cause I, I could have just like, Told him to go fuck himself. No, you can. Like they're not. They can't. I worked do at anything. Best Buy. You can't. They they get yeah. mad at you if you stop the guy. Yeah, it was let him go. So it was crazy that he brandished handcuffs at me. Yeah. And I folded, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and he fucking. <laughs> I walk back into the store, and he brings me into this little office, and he's like, yeah. So uh, here's you doing it. It's literally, literally me on camera. He yeah. like saw me do it. I saw myself <laughs> in my work uniform, and I'm like, oh shit. Ah. And I thought it was kind of funny because I'm like, oh, this is really, really stupid. It's also just a toothbrush. Yeah, and and but he's like, he's like, all right, so here's how this works. Like, you can, uh, you can call this number, and if you uh, pay this big fine, and it won't like, we won't press charges on you, and you won't like get it on your like record. And uh, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just do that. And he's like, okay, and hold on, and he fucking takes a fucking Polaroid picture of me. <laughs> And he, he prints it out, and then I look, and there's a whole wall of shoplifters oh, that shit. aren't allowed to go in. Wow. And he puts it on the wall. And, you know, he says, all right, you, you get out of here. And so I, I did. I called the number. Uh, I paid, like, I think it was $400 or something. And I was like, fuck, this $400 sucks. better be a nice toothbrush. Dude, yeah, that's insane. It's one of those it. tooth tunes ones. He didn't even get to give it. I've stolen uh, so music. much. It's got tags on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have luckily never been caught, but I've stolen a lot. So, so I, yeah, the I, thing I, is... I want to go back to that grocery store. I want to fly Today? back 
No, not today. No, I mean like in this day. Like yes, yeah. I want to fly back and try it again. There's no oh steal again. <laughs> yeah, you want to steal? I, I wanna, steal? Yeah, I want to steal another toothbrush and get away it's with it. It's the same guy. And I, I, <laughs> he and, walks in. I've been fucking waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's, it's like his son. He trained him to memorize all the pictures. He's got the same handcuffs. They're rusty now, and you're like spinning them in a circle. <laughs> Come on, wait for you. <laughs> I so that reminds me. I think you you had a shoplifting phase. Yeah. I unfortunately you, had a shoplifting face. You did? Yeah. I did too. What was yours? Yeah. What the uh, it's ah, unfor- hey. Unfortunately, I don't know which story to tell. It was that it's that many. What's your worst? What's your biggest haul? I'm gonna tell a funny one. Yeah. Um so back when I was in my first serious relationship, uh we you know, we started becoming sexually active. Allegedly. It was a very one of three. Uh, he did it one for of her. three. Okay, well, more than number three. one, two, or three. Through, more than three relationships. Not but. that many to go through, right, though. Anyway, probably so, number uh, two. Woo! So uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so you know, we're, we're becoming sexually active. First time in my life. I'm very nervous. Uh, I'm too afraid to like talk to my parents about it or anything like that. Um, but I needed to buy protection mm, candoms and uh i i i said a day i'm like I'm, all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to 7-eleven i'm gonna go buy it i'm gonna do it and i went and i was too scared really and uh so i go and i'm like well how, i'll just i'll just steal them how old are you um oh man you're I, uh, 16 maybe? okay yeah 15 okay. 16 no 16 not 15. and then she blew him and he got gonorrhea <laughs> no that was you you're still that guy uh, <laughs> right. so i go and i'm Fuck. like all right i will steal them because I'm too embarrassed to fucking do it. I don't know why. I just couldn't do it. Nice. So, so I go, and it's, I was wearing a fucking trench coat. <laughs> what? I, Purposely? For the I had, I had, like, this honestly kind of sick, but I also, it also makes me sound like... Like Mac from It's Always Sunny with the yeah, duster. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was thinking. It, it makes me kind of sound like a 4chan user. Duster. But yeah. I had, like, a... Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like that. Nick and 16. Yeah, it, <laughs> fucking no shirt. It was... Duster on. It, it was like this. Like Casper the Ghost. Grabs the condoms, Naruto runs out. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I had this super lame, uh, like, tweed, like, trench coat. Tweed. Yeah, it was like... It wasn't like... I don't know. No, no leather. Shirt. Um, so I go in and I'm wearing it and I look like a, I look like I have two people like, who are stacked in me and I go and I'm like looking through the aisles I'm like I'm constantly looking back at the guy behind the counter and I'm like grabbing some I'm, like, I got some Sour Patch Kids and then I walk a little further and I'm looking at him I get like a soda and then I just grab the condoms and I put them in the shirt pocket and then I walk up and I put I put all the candy that I purchased on the desk and I'm like you know I gotta buy something if I'm gonna walk around. And the guy doesn't even look at what I put down. He just looks at me and he goes, leave and do not come back. And I'm like, wow, why? And I, and I, <laughs> and I won't admit it. I, I'm being stubborn. I won't admit yeah. it. And he goes, I saw what you did. And I'm like, well, I didn't do anything. No, your, par- oh your parents know that you're gay. <laughs> and, and he's like, he's like, do not come back. And I'm like, you're being, I literally was like, you're being weird, man. <laughs> and, then, and then I like put the, I put the money on the table for the candy and I'm like, you're being weird. I just leave. And he didn't stop me from stealing the condoms, but he just like was really stuck, like really stern. So weird left. because if he saw what happened, he could also just charge you yeah. for the condoms. Yeah. And then- that's actually so funny. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. That candy bar is like $17 with everything. So, yeah. <laughs> but I think uh, to answer your question, which was like my biggest haul. Yeah. Uh, I used to steal art supplies all the time. Wow. When I was in, when I was in school and I was doing a lot of drawing, I was doing a lot of painting. Uh, dude, paintbrushes are so expensive. They're very it's expensive. Fucked. Yeah. It's fucked. You can get like a single paintbrush and it'll cost you like $60. It's because they have to kill a whole horse to get it. Yeah, one horse. Yeah, and I only use paint. ones that have like, you kill horses for, which yeah. is like the good shit. You know, yeah. Yeah. Rem, like, Top of the line. And, like, yeah. Their so, soul is inside uh, the So I would the go to Michael's all the fucking time, literally weekly. And I would go and it was so easy. Like, like it was so easy to steal from Michael's. And I would just take like 10 paintbrushes and just go home. And I would just do it all the time. And then my ex-girlfriend one time found out I was doing this. And I was thinking about like all my hauls. I was telling her like like how much damage I had done, like a Grand Theft Auto character. Yeah. And she was like really bothered by that. And she was like, I want you to never ever do that again. And I was like, really? And like I had never had, I never had a friend keep me accountable for something before. So it was like kind of embarrassing. And uh, it hit me so hard that I just never ever stole again. Really? Uh, yeah. N- dude, Nick's got these like fucking like personal quirks. And yeah. it's like mm. he doesn't eat fast food. Yeah. He fucking. Wait, can I tell that story? 
I, I, I don't want to be the story fucking guy, but kind of because there is a reason. Yeah, I was in high school, and you know when you're in high school, every every uh, junk food hits different. Like if the, if the teacher's like, all right, whoever gets this right gets this tiny Snickers bar. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. bro, I want that Snickers. I bar. mean, they do pizza parties for yes. like free labor, and, and you get like one slice, and it's like, bro, this pizza hits, tastes so much better. Yeah, cool. I don't know pizza what it party is. incoming, Amos. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, every my, Friday, my buddy, hey. my buddy Daniel in high school, his uh. He was the only he was the first person of all of us to get our license. And at my school, you were allowed to leave for lunch if you had your license and get food. So he goes out and gets uh, Carl's Jr. and comes back. And he's share he's like, you know, he's like uh, at the table at the last supper, and he's like all the boys are around him, like taking fries. <laughs> and uh, I'm eating a fry and I'm like, damn, dude, fries. I was like saying this. I'm like, fries just hit different in the school. And he was just like, Yeah, man, like I fucking love fast food. He like, said something like that. It's kinda like a movie. That's and, what Shake literally said, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Shake literally likes fast food and it's gross. Yeah. So love well, that guy. Okay. Uh, and uh, I was just like, he said something along the lines of like, I don't think I could ever not eat these like 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 type of food. And I was like, I could, I could, I could quit if I wanted to. And he was like, No, you couldn't. And I'm like, Yes, I could. Yes, I could. And he's like, You literally couldn't. He was like really serious about it. He's like, You could never quit this. And I said, Bet. And then from that day in junior year of high school, I just stopped eating it. That is so. And I have and I have certain places that I have added as like okay zones, like In and Out and That's like what Chipotle, I was say. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I dated a girl who worked at In and Out and it was just inconvenient for my life. And then Chipotle, I'm just like, it's not that bad. Yeah, but you do never eat it. You never eat a McDonald's burger. No, thing no, no. no. I haven't had McDonald's or like Jack in the Box or like more traditional fast food places. Missing out since high school. They've increased the MSG quantity. It's great these it's days. Like a, it's like a salt pancake. <laughs> yeah, which sounds great, but <laughs> after not- a while, you actually don't want it. Like, sure. Like it makes it kind of makes me grossed out, but not to like put myself on a high horse. I just it, well, you I are. That's the thing, mm. dude. When so you I, say to you someone, you don't have my mass. <laughs> You'll never have my mass, yeah. small boy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's Look, at these, Show me. Show Look me. at these thighs. Show me your the You've got some, dude. Skin. I'll say. Right? Watch out. Uh oh, she might bite. <laughs> I was talking about your thighs today with Dan because yeah. I was saying how I kind of want to go join a rec soccer league. And I was thinking about my which of my friends would do that with me. And I was like, who plays soccer? And I was like, well, we play soccer. But then I was like, I could never, ever get him to leave the house. But then I also said, Aiden. I would do a rec soccer league. I just thought you'd be more interested in doing you basketball. You I would, would do a rec soccer league. Would you, you do that? Would, would you join one with yeah, me? You like the idea? When would you we like do it? The idea that you would. I'm in. Yeah. I'm locked. I'm right, locked. Let's do it. No I'm shot. Count. count me locked. Well, count me locked. You guys want to make a team? You know me, dude. Let's get let's get a team of fucking like I smashers and people. I sink it top right, dude. Right? Literally, you think you've got upper V? Potential. Literally, you got upper V's, bro. Right, Russ, whatever. Russ comes through and they're like, "Hey, we want to do another drop." And you look at Nick and you're like, "Ah, yeah. like, <laughs> that's, that's hey, what, that's what's gonna hey, happen. Ludwig, first games this Thursday at seven p.m." Oh, mm. that's oh. what I stream. <laughs> we should do that indoor. Would be tough. We should it's do indoor. No, I would no get chance. it done, boys. All right, I'm down. No I'm chance. actually super down. I'm here, aren't I? Need I need fitness in my life. Fitness, dick. The fifteen-year-olds in Fortnite are cringing at that. No, they yeah. are my side. They don't. They don't think that's cool. Can we? Can we guys? really quickly? Can we lean forward cool and do the the meme where the four guys are on the four kids are on the couch? Yeah. And it's like, can we just do it really quick so someone can make one? Okay. So it's like they're all like this. Well, you gotta not, look at. They're you gotta look at, looking at each other. Yeah, right? looking at each other. Like they're like really like. Yeah, they're really like involved. They're disgusting. All right, Reddit, go crazy. We're talking about the one where it's like four kids on a couch, and it's like, is it's Fortnite? Three, I think it's two kids. I do, I do oh, love that one. Three kids. Oh. It might be two kids. You know too much about the kids. You got a little why do you know too so good of a memory about, the about these kids. I yeah. why do you know the kids so well? of the kids. You yeah? Look at, you're looking at those okay. kids a lot. You're looking at the kids too much. I'm a kid keep track of her. That's a bad role. That's what you want. It's crazy that he's my boss. We're all going to HR about that. You want to be weird with each other after work? All right, man. You can talk to HR about that. See you later. I'm HR. Do you know what I'm really excited about? What? The Nickelodeon fighter. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I haven't talked about it much on stream, but it's gonna be hype. I think this is gonna be the greatest thing and the worst thing for our friendships ever. Really, it's a chance for new beef without the history of melee. Sure, like like none of our like melee experience really factors in. It's just no, a new dude, fighter. You know what? No, because this happened with Slap City, who are the people developing uh, this game. So it's gonna feel probably similar to Slap City. But I remember there it is. By the way, there's some characters. It looks that, great. It looks so dude, dope. Who the hell fucking, is the dude in the top? The toast guy, Wait, white hair with yeah. The I don't know. That's like a new head. That's a new head. I don't know. Oh okay. And I don't know the, the fucking the cinnamon toast. Toast man. I think is an old head. Is he what looks I was like told. a cereal thing. I I don't know. But so, dude, when we played Slap City, Nick found the, like the cheapest fucking character and just just ran the setup. I was, and I was like, do. I don't want to do this. I anymore. I was the Ken of. It'll I don't do. look, I don't look forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Yeah. Well, that's how it'll be. I'll be into it. I think it'll be really good for. I'm streams. gonna call Mance. Yeah. Uh, you are going to be a Danny Phantom. 
you are going to be a <laughs> you're going to think you're a Danny Phantom, but you're actually a Nigel Thornberry. Uh, you will play a combination of Patrick and Invader Zim. I have a nasty Tommy Pickles. Oh, you might be a Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Pickles. Pickles. I will be playing Invader Zim. Okay, I you're wrong. I would want to be Patrick uh, because I feel like we have lived similar lifestyles, similar haircuts. But if but <laughs> <laughs> if if Tommy Pickles da- head. if Tommy Pickles' dad Stu is in the game, oh shit, yeah, I would no probably make shot. They got Stu, bro. I'm Danny Phantom. <laughs> You're not Danny I'm Phantom. Danny Phantom. I'm cool like Danny Phantom. You wish you were Danny Phantom. I'm cool and hot Danny like Danny Phantom. Phantom. Is the Danny Phantom's of this 14. Game. Cool and hot. Well, he's a, I mean, he, they, they draw him nice. They did draw. Butch Hartman definitely drew him nice. <laughs> Butch Hartman thinks he's hot. Danny Phantom was, a, <laughs> Danny Phantom was definitely a cartoon crush. Do you, you think Butch Hartman has jerked off to any of his characters that he's created? Yeah. 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 What, wait, do you think the official drawings of them or like Rule 34 of Basically, his no, just like the idea. Like he's dreamed these characters up, I think right? he's drawn surely some Rule 34 himself. I think they started from Wet Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's with, how he ideated them. I want to fuck them. a ghost man. <laughs> and then he went down the rabbit hole. Dude, I bet, I bet it's like fucking hard candy where there's a safe underneath his home. <laughs> yeah. Where there's fucking just like drawings of like fucking Cosmo and Wanda. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, you got to fucking knows the code bro yeah they're like his sesh, sex wish dragons yeah. <laughs> and they became Cosmo I don't, and Wanda. I don't trust that guy bro yeah he you tra- shouldn't people no. hate him I know people hate Butch Hartman these days this is actually dude I bet he like he steals people's art he's part of the IP right so if we get on his bad side we can't commentate yeah, this tournament. Yeah, we should be chill with Butch. Butch so we Hartman, can get on side. you're our guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> unless after everything we said, I feel like he's not our guy. Yeah. No, he'll probably just see that part. He'll, he'll probably, probably just oh, see yeah. us and yeah. share the art. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I do think like every show creator has that uh, has like some sort of anecdote about how they came up with it. Like usually some like really like cool or like sweet sort of story. Yeah. And then, uh, but there's got to be like darker some versions depraved. of all these. Like. I, I don't want to know the the Dan Harmon logs. Oh God! Dan, oh, yeah, yeah, Dan God, Harmon no. is a troubled man. Like, if, I mean, if I made a cartoon show, it would probably have to do with like <laughs> fucking <laughs> dripping out of my wearing a diaper while yeah. I fucking. It would be like a walking gonorrhea dick that just leaks everywhere, and he's made fun of it for it. <laughs> it's a sitcom. What's up, Leaky? What's up, Leaky Face? Dude, I literally <laughs> had where all the adults wear diapers. Paper towel. I, I know I keep bringing it up, but it was traumatic almost. I had to put paper towels in my pants to catch the like. It was a front diaper. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I told, bad I told Dan week. about it, which is Nick's boss, and he, he was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry you have to wear a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man was a little less chipper that week. All I'm right, sure. man did not yeah. shout as Doesn't loud as, as hard. <laughs> he could. Hey, diaper fact. More diaper diapers time. are sold in Japan for adults than for babies. That's not true. It's That's true. I believe that. What? Yeah. They sell more adult diapers because they're declining their, their population. Their birth rate's so low. In birth rate. And people live so long. For adults. Oh, it's not a sex thing. It's just... Old people Wait, what shitting did in you their pants. Why, why oh, you thought you, like everyone yeah. had gonorrhea? Why did you jump to that conclusion? No, not gonorrhea, but like, I would, I, when you say adult diapers, I thought of like a healthy adults wearing diapers. As a, as for sexual gratification. Yeah, and that's what I thought. And that's, oh. that's what oh. was your first yeah, thought. Yeah, that's a weird first thought, man. My first thought. That's, that's gotta a be a decent slice of the pie chart. That's what I'm saying. How many no people shot. had their first thought as that, though? That was Japan their first does have some, you know, weird, weird, very prevalent, I feel like, Trends related to sex like that. Oh, well, yeah. that's why I, I jumped right to it. So, you know, diapers. No, it's bro. grannies but and grammys. It's, it's old Gra- grandpas and grandmas. Grandpas and grandmas. Mima and Mimo. Does that mean they shit in diapers more than they shit in toilets? <laughs> no, I think they're. Well, think, I don't, I don't know. think that's what it means at all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it means. I would, I'm just look. I'm just the ideas guy. When I was when I was in the third grade, uh, my mom was in like the PTA at my school, and uh, there was this other kid. I'm gonna say his name is Jake for the sake of this story. And uh, he was he was known to be like kind of, you know when you're like younger uh, you're in third grade level when people are lame it's like you're kind of like mean to those people it's kind of fucked up but I was actually always nice to him but mm. he got bullied quite a lot mm-hmm. and uh, at one point my my mother recognized this and her, his mother was also on the PTA so she she assembled a play date with us oh, hell to yeah. hang out and I was like mom you narc like I yeah. <laughs> you like narc I'm bitch. I'm doing my part I am nice to him at school I do not want to go over to his house. <laughs> And uh, she's, she's like, you're doing this. Like, you got to do it once. It's fine. He needs friends. And I was like, oh, fine. So I go. And uh, 
he's got all these interests that are like kind of weird, but like nothing like super. He's like he's like obsessed with watching like documentaries on sharks, and he's like wants to sit with me and watch a documentary with, like, about a shark for like an hour. And I'm like, okay, this is fine. We'll watch this. Blah blah. blah. He's showing me like his collections of game and stuff. And he's like he's like, you want to go in the pool? You want to go in the pool? And I'm like, I don't want to swim. And he's like, we're gonna, let's go in the pool. And I'm like, I don't want to go. So I watch him swim for like an hour, <laughs> and it's like this whole day. I'm just like, fuck, dude. And then and, and then we go and, and then we go inside. I'm like I, I'm like he he all his, all his bathing suits have the weird net inside, and I'm mm-hmm. like I don't want to wear that. It's also like I'm bigger than him and then uh, I'm going to his room he's like wait here I want to show you something and then he leaves the room and then I'm like sitting in there and I'm like am I gonna die like what is he gonna come back I don't know I'm not kidding I'm not exaggerating this he kicks the door in he comes back he kicks the door down he jumps into the room all he is wearing is a diaper (laughs) and he goes I'm diaper boy (laughs) and I'm Captain Underpants and I'm like this I go what? <laughs> you and didn't he, laugh? And he no. I, I was like, I, I was laugh. I was weirded out. And he goes, "Yeah, I wear diapers every day." <laughs> He's so sick. And I was like, "Oh, yeah, that's cool. I won't tell anyone." This and, is a chat. And that's then I go crazy. home and and I remember uh the one the one like shining thing about that that whole experience was he had this really sick book of cheat codes that he got from the the school book right. fair and i was just like reading it like literally reading it because i was like i don't know what to do here <laughs> and and i was just like i'm like i'm like while i was leaving i'm like okay i set the book down i'm like my mom's here i gotta go and and he's like you can keep the cheat code book if you want it i don't use it and i was like okay and i went home and i made spider-man's head really big to forget about it all <laughs> dude that and that kid grew up to be louis ck <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> but that's what it sounds like it's like he's you're like reading cheat codes just trying to focus he's like nick look at my diaper now <laughs> and it wouldn't, this wouldn't be a story if he just told me in like you know in secret he wanted like to confess this to me if he trusted me i would just be like yeah whatever i would just never tell the story but like he came in like a cartoon yeah and was like look at me well dude, i remember look at what i look like in in fifth grade it was found out that one of the boys wore diapers mm. and he had worn it for Wait, five years straight oh, he never he knew control his bowels i don't you, know you and the boys got together killed him uh well we discussed that <laughs> yeah and in fifth what grade we ended up with <laughs> a bit of a lord of the flies situation in new hampshire <laughs> the school called him like uh like diapy boy for a bit oh but he owned it because he reversed he put the diaper over Yo, his king. clothes, absolute king. No, yeah, for real. Wait, yeah, wait. Does that just mean he was shitting his pants? No, no, no. Just, <laughs> like I think just to like show off the diaper. He Dude, had to wear yeah. two diapers every day. That, he's wearing I two. I actually don't know if he wore two. I never asked. That no, kid is such a shit. It was one day. It was one. It's not like oh, the rest. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It was not like the rest of his oh. life. He wore the diaper over. It was like one day he wore the diaper over. Respect. Dude, there's like a Pepsi ad campaign with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, we're, be yourself and be who you are. Where Kylie Jenner's at the picket line and she's in a fucking <laughs> it's like, and, she's, and she's shitting her pants. <laughs> the commercial, everyone takes off their pants and shows diapers and they just have shit stains on them. Put their fist up. This was for you. Pepsi. Drink, drink Pepsi. Celebrities everywhere. I cannot believe that Pepsi commercial went through. Yeah, that is. Well, cool. if you want to talk about like, a commercial, it's actually I shouldn't the most tone deaf thing I've ever seen. Real quick, we can end on this one. We can talk about uh, the CLG commercial. Oh, to my wrap God. us up, this thing, dude. This is so funny. Okay, so to explain the context of this for those who haven't seen it, it's a uh, it's a video of the CLG team room, which is an uh, esports organization. Yeah, for yeah League Counter of Logic Gaming. Their League of Legends team has just lost, and it's a it's a very personal view into the conversation with the team. And the general manager of the team, a person we're friends with, Tafikins, uh, because he he started in melee, and uh, and uh, like there's another guy in the room or whatever, and all these teams like shoot uh, behind the scenes content in general. There's yeah. a lot of like storylines. But for these normally, teams. normally but, it's like they just lost, and it's like the conversations the team has about like improvement and like yeah. what they got to change about to be like better. what they could have done the or like a situation girl, in the uh, game. You just shoot more knives. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. And and. Uh, Tafikins is like reprimanding the team in the room. And it was harrowing. Saying, he was like, like firing people. Hey, I'm really disappointed here. Like this is this we cannot go on like this. Their performance this season has been really bad. They haven't been good in a while. And uh, yeah, yeah. Here's, oh, here's 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 gonna video. play it. Uh, he and, said uh, something to the effect of basically. Uh, wait here. It's been a little over two months. Uh, we're not really progressing. Oh, so dude, look um, at them. There's very likely going to be changes this week. Um, I'm exploring 
options. Uh, so this might be the last time. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he says there's very likely going to be changes implying that the people who are currently on the roster are going to get They're going to get subbed off. off. And that's the <laughs> Bud Light cool down. The Bud Light cool down. It's down, literally down, a Bud Light like, cool down, dude. So, okay, here's what I think happened. But, so this got blown up on Twitter, right? And people were like, this is fucking stupid and, like, yeah. insensitive and dumb. And Because it was, like, literally yeah, firing someone and then going... Brought to you by Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> their, career, their career is on the line, right? Like yeah. for all the for all the you know the the luck and the fun of the life of being a professional gamer. If you're gonna be taught at the top level of league, even in NA, uh, you're you're playing like twelve hours, you know, ten to twelve yeah, hours the a day. You aren't good. And, you're, you would not have a job. Yeah, and if you're not on the team or you play on an academy team, you're no longer making a lot of money. You better like start it's, streaming. It's bitch. not good. I think it's so fucked up that so, they were making money off of that conversation so, too. So yeah. Here, yeah. here's the thing. So it be it was the the big cringe. The biggest cringe point to this was it was a Bud Light cool down segment. Yeah. And so what I think happened is what happens in these situations is that you sign with like, let's say Bud Light and they say, we need X amount of deliverables for this quarter or this year. Right. And they're like, oh, shit, we uh, we didn't meet our quota for like Bud Light activations. We need to put something together. And someone at CLG was like, here's what we'll do. <laughs> this had to have gone through a couple people. Anyway, Slime's Leaky Dick brought to you by Bud Light. Make sure to drink up. <laughs> sober for years. <laughs> Me and I girl had sex completely sober, and I still got gonorrhea. Cool down your gonorrhea with some Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> if you, Dude, it's like the Bud, the Bud Light cool down you, moment. And it's like, it's it's like, like a voyeuristic like, shot of yeah. like Anthony in the bathroom, and he's just hunched over the sink. And He's like, <laughs> if you drink, if you drink enough Bud Lights, you will no longer feel the fire in your exactly. penis. <laughs> it sucks so buds. bad. It sucks so bad. Thank God for medicine. Diaper branded Bud Light. <laughs> it's like a little. You're Bud starting Light to put diaper. everything back in. Yeah. Danny Phantom wearing a diaper with gonorrhea, <laughs> drinking a Bud Light, getting fired, and that's the Yard Podcast. Uh, that is it. That is it. We got a sponsor. Hopefully, uh, they come back next week. I don't know if they'll love this episode. <laughs> Dude, they may get a message and they're just like, guys, what the fuck? Every episode gets worse. No, it'd be like, we loved it. We loved it. We loved it. So we have to talk about the gonorrhea section. Let's talk about the blue guy in the shirt with the blue. On. <laughs> we love the blue color. It was great for us. The rest of what he said, though, we want an STD-free podcast. So. <laughs> we replied, we want that too. And I'm just, yeah, <laughs> to be clear, we. Don't don't want that either but uh we got one now and uh, hopefully they come back next week and, and make sure our sweet listeners to download the pod don't you have to listen smash the download button so we can beat things like ben shapiro's podcast uh i don't know joe budden uh normies Let's i think beat we the normies fight the, yeah fight i think we're normies. close i think we're close to beating ben my goal my long-term goal with this podcast is to climb the rankings above call her daddy at least one time <laughs> <laughs> let's, and let's get there uh, we can get there my together. goal is to be one above ben shapiro and then title an episode taller than this guy with arrow <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> dude i will change the name of the fucking whole podcast if we, Bro. Get, if we can get right this above guy, arrow down <laughs> okay that'd be the dream baby. we'll get there with you guys <laughs> uh, all right thanks for watching the pod uh and see everyone next week bye